Live from San Antonio, Texas, this is In the Building with Mike Taylor and Rudy J. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> it's like I'm giddy, so. Yeah, you should be. Yeah, I am I'm here. Giddy. You better be. I'm giddy. And no real plan. You don't have no plan? I mean, is this a Love You Hard Cup? It is. Damn, what are our point is? I got to get used to real cameras. You got to, you know, you got to pretend they're not there is what I was oh, told. okay. No, I don't do that. I need to know where it's at. Really? Yeah, so I can see where my long highs are showing. Oh, well, oh, the wide, good. show them the, see, show no, them the wide screen. No, don't do that. I don't like that one. See, you won't feel good see, about I don't yourself. Like, let me see. <laughs> I'm all right. I'm all right. It's wear black every <laughs> yeah, day. Yeah, wear black. But is black really thinning? I don't know. Black isn't thinning. Are you sure? If you I fat, you fat. I <laughs> you fat, you fat. Nothing can fat. hide it. Oh, well, you're not fat, dude. No, I'm not fat at all. No, how much have you lost? Ooh, 80, 90, 80 something, 80, 90 pounds. Did I don't you know. do the whole uh, lose 100, gain 20, though, and find a happy no, medium? No, so I went hard for a year, right? And then so the November, December, I kind of chilled. Uh-huh. Now I'm back in I'm, okay. I'm back in go mode. I remember you posting videos of you, like, moving cars. and Yeah, that was a heavy metal. Picking up fucking yeah. giant drums and moving them over and yeah. shit. That I'm a beast. Crazy. Yeah, I I, knew, a, I saw that. Yeah, he he is a beast, and that's why he's on our on our on our team. Um, look at that hat he's got on too today. Um, it love is, you hard, baby. So this is a new show uh, from the Love You Hard Studios, and as I as I want to get this right, and because we have a whole now we're a network. We only have, we just only have one show within the network, right? So now I've got we're legit. Love You Hard TV, that's the name of the company, that's the name of the team. This right. show is a show on Love You Hard. That's why you've seen us kind of rebrand lately and make everything kind of Love You Hard. Because you have Mike Taylor live. Yeah, and that show is either going to... I think I don't you know should what, still do it. I mean, when you're sick, maybe, you know, or on occasion. On the, you why know. wouldn't you still do it? I mean, it's like... Because it's more work. Like Skip and Shannon. Shannon still has three other shows. Yeah, but let's get yes. this one where it needs to be. So Taylor Live's on hiatus because, damn it, we are now in the building. We're in the building. I am Mike Taylor. That is Rudy J. Yes, sir. Say in the building just once. I'm in the building, baby. Oh Let's get God. it. I'm See, in the oh building. My God. I'm in so the this building. This is cool. I mean, this, holy shit, it's in the building. Yeah. Um, thank you all for watching. Oh, we can cuss. You can. I'm, yeah, not, yeah. I'm gonna keep it to a minimum. I don't want to overdo it. Right. You know what I mean? It's I don't want to cuss for no reason, but I want to cuss. Right. I've been 17 years of FCC. The people want to hear you cuss too. I don't know. No, we, it's gonna we be got cool. Sponsors and stuff. Well, I mean, it just depends. I mean, don't do it like don't cuss like a sailor. You don't say the f word, do you? Fuck yeah. Jesus On occasion. Michael. Jesus, Michael. Oh, you just Michael. Get the fuck out of here. We got <laughs> drops with cuss words. It's okay. Get You'll this. get used to this. I had to get used to it too. And the cool part is I actually started doing the we started doing podcasts, but while I was still doing the radio show. Oh, so you were So I had to channel my brain right. every day to not violate the FCC right. and then do a podcast three days a week and it was it was it was fine. But I don't want to cuss like gratuitously and for just no for reason. nothing, yeah. just motherfuck this and then yeah, that, yeah, that. Yeah, we're not doing that. No, no, they're sentence enhancers, cuss words. And yeah, you know, you'll be able to be a better broadcaster, hopefully, because you can because you can cuss. Watch yeah. the language, little so boy. So here we are, man. I look again. I didn't. I don't have an. I don't have a monologue. I don't have. We got stuff. You don't have a Kimmel, but no Kimmel monologue. No, I Why not? No, I thought you were a coach ro- show. I'm What's a coach show? A co-show. We're co-hosts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're co-hosts. And I'm going to have to get used to that for sure. Well, right. I think our chemistry is going to be great. I have to get used to having a co-host. I never wanted to go solo. Never. I always thought you wanted to be solo. No. When they flew me down. So when Peter Bolger called me. Right. And Tim Merriman called, hey, we want to interview you for this job down here in San Antonio. I'm like, oh, wow, that's cool. I can't wait to see who my co-host is going to be. I assume that. They were flying me down to meet my next co-host, or at least interview right, right, right. with somebody. I get there and they're like, "Uh, no, nah, man, this is, a, this is a solo job." Oh shit! They weren't gonna pay two people. Well, you're right. Well, you're right. Yeah, they weren't. They didn't want to do that because they had they had two people they were gonna bring in before me. Who they was quit. It? Who else had the gig? Three or four people, dude. I was the fourth choice on the ticket. Oh, you got the you were the you were Charlie Strong. I was Nick Foles. Oh. Yeah, I was Charlie Strong. <laughs> but wait, you did a much better job than Charlie. I was Nick. I won the Super Bowl, right? But I was not the starter, and I was the fallback plan. And I never thought I was going to be a co-host on the ticket. Yeah. Now and full I wanted to have what y'all had. Yo, no full disclosure. Mm-hmm. It ended up being the right pick. 
when they when they brought you in 07, March 07, right? October. October. Yeah, yeah, close enough. Somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. It ended up being the right choice. You went forever. (laughs) Thank you, man. We were pissed. We're like, how y'all going to bring in somebody from Dallas and we sitting here making all this money, got a buzz. How y'all bringing? I'm just, I understand. We're just chopping it up. I was like, what the hell's going on? And that's why it was rocky. You know what I mean? And that's why we would take our little jabs at each other. What do you mean it was rocky? It was, I loved you boys. (laughs) Cut the shit. Cut the shit. Cut the shit. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. (laughs) Look, I didn't have a problem with you. It wasn't you. We were just like, wait a minute. Damn, we've been putting in a lot of work. They're going to bring in some dude from Dallas. Don't know the city for crap. Come, right. You know what I mean? We we're like, sure. what the hell's going on? Yeah. How do you think I felt? I was the guy that I was the stranger they had to come in. Yeah. And but from you, all the you cities that coming from you Dallas. You held your own and you didn't take no shit. I had to. You didn't. Yeah. You held your own. You, you know, mean, you came out swinging. You did your police rides and all that. Remember that? Yeah. We yeah. did the ride along. There were ride along. Yeah, like ride along. Way before Kevin Hart did it. Uh, television, local news segments yeah. that almost got me fired yeah, the first you, month. You took a lot of shots at news, yeah. at news, bro. What are they called? Newscasters, whatever the hell they're called. Yeah. Well, I was honest about them. I did a TV news challenge. Uh-huh. And yeah, that's I, what it I was. spent one week with OAI, a week with KABB, a week with KSAT, and a week with Ken's. And then on Friday, you'll get used to the sound effects. You know, okay. what, that, you know what that is? What that's that? money coming in. People are giving us money right yeah, now? Yeah, already. Already got money rolling in. How do they do that? <laughs> <laughs> He's older than me. <laughs> No, man, I, yeah, what's look, up? I, I I had to come in and I had to fucking throw it. I had to dunk. I yeah, couldn't you, take yeah, a layup. Came in, yeah, you came in swinging. I had to. And so there were people that didn't like me at the beginning, not only because I was this dude from Dallas and an outsider and a dude who... And a Mavs the, fan. Sure, and, and In the heart of the Spurs-Mavs right. Mavs rivalry. Yeah, it would have right. been bad enough had they brought some dude in from like Kansas City. They bring in a fucking Dallas guy, which I'm from Fort Worth, but I was Dallas. I was the Dallas. Well, I'm always son of a bitch at that. Well, I, that's me. That's the <laughs> legit me. Wrong but with I that. had to come in again. I I know right. how to dunk. I know how to lay up. I know how to shoot free throws. I can hit threes. Oh, are you saying? Oh, you're you're five tool. I'm versatile. Okay. Excuse but me, in sir. order to make it work in those days, right. I had to come in here and establish myself with authority. It had it was a tomahawk jam, and right. that meant collateral damage, and that meant that we're going to be people that, people that did not like me. I always wanted to interact with the grind. I just don't, I did too. The grind didn't want to interact time with out, me. Time out. Time out. Okay, hold on. What? I, you and I always had great chemistry. We did. Huh? Well, yeah, we did. We had. We always had great chemistry. You were cool with me. I was cool with you. Yeah. My co-host wasn't fond of the situation. I understand. So okay. I, I had to pick a side. You know. Mm-hmm. You don't. You yeah. In that in that situation, mm-hmm. me and Calvin been friends since six years old. Best sure. friends. My guy wasn't happy with it. I had to not be happy with it. So as the years go on, and you and I become more more cool and be like, hey man, I like working with Mike. Mike has me on the show. You promote my golf tournament. It got weird between Calvin and I because it's like, dude, this is the enemy. I'm like, it's not the enemy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's so it was always weird. Yeah. It was always weird. I don't think you guys didn't dislike each other. I just think the dynamics of the business made it awkward. I felt that it was in the best interest of the station if we all got along. Me too. And we all supported each other's me shows too. and came on each other's shows mm-hmm. and I, that it never worked that way, and I no. I'll always regret that because and that that's one of the reasons I'm no longer in radio because a sports talk radio station that has morning, midday, and afternoon mm-hmm. those shows on it needs to it needs to sound like it's one giant show the last eight hours right it's just our shift and then we're up okay and then the next guys come in they're our good buddies I don't like conflict radio I never have like I don't like what goes on with you, you mentioned Skip and Shannon I don't like. That, that got weird. I like everybody. No, we're going to have – all of our conversations will be organic. And if I'm we not going to make that's up fine. shit. I'm not going to disagree with yeah. you for the sake of no, radio. If I disagree correct. with you – But and I if I do, you, can, you don't have to uh, – Yeah. don't take it personal if no. I disagree so, with you. So, again, just to defend myself, not that I have to with you, I – now, not only was I the outsider, I was a loner. It was a solo yeah, yeah, show. I thought they were going to give me some guy that was already here. I didn't know. I thought, thought, I you thought got Jim Bob. I thought Wally <laughs> was going to co-host it first. I'm like, okay, well, we're kind of different, but you know, I didn't realize he right. was no, he was on the way out. I didn't and know then that they either. brought in a, they brought in Mike Benson, the American Idol, oh, Mike that's Benson, right. that's and right. he that's was right. doing. I thought, okay, maybe I'll work with him. No, the, he, he was just a fill in. It right. was all me, and so I had to make it work. And Rudy's right. As the years went on, he and I established we a friendship. Cool. Yeah. You know, and we were, and Rudy never was like, maybe I get, you no, know, you had to support the show you were on, but right. you were never mean to me or anything. Never. It was never personal. Never, never, never personal. We just, mm-hmm. we're both, there's, you know, three wolves in the building. 
everybody's alpha. Everybody thinks they're the shit. Mm-hmm. And sometimes slick shit is said. Yeah. Right? Sure. You say slick. You say, you you know, you you say slick shit. I got shit in all trouble the, for calling say, y'all an infomercial. Dude, that, let's talk about that. That's so. so let's just get all this Mike, out yeah. so we can restart yeah, our so show. So when Go Mike uh, came, he was doing. <laughs> We were on six to seven. So we were, we came on after Mike. So that's the only time that I was really heated with Mike. Cause like <laughs> this motherfucker goes, it's like what? Uh, five fifty five. Mm-hmm. And he goes, all right, that's it for Taylor show. The infomercials next. Yeah. And, yeah. I about, and I, we were at a remote and Calvin <laughs> and I looked at each other. We're like, did this motherfucker just call us an infomercial? Which what we were, we were paid. We, we were paid programming, which. I mean, we're probably a little bit ahead of the curve at that time. Well, just what we're doing but, now. Yeah, but but <laughs> we, I was just like, yo. So I, I think that show was, I probably took the most shots that you and Jim Bob I ever have. And that's when Peter Bolger, remember, we got called, we all got called into the office that yeah. next week. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, yo, cut the shit. Y'all stop it. That's and, enough. And already. I preached camaraderie. I wanted yeah. the locker room to get along. And Cal was sitting in there, arms folded, not saying a word. He didn't want no part of peace. Yeah. He shook. With, with that, he was shook not about shug. it. He was shook not about it. Like, I don't want it. I don't want anything to he do with them. He might run they over me like, with a car. Yeah, they don't. Me. Yeah, they don't like us. We don't like them. They didn't want to help us. So yeah. I had to be on that side of the fence. But mm-hmm. yet, I still would come on your show. We would still do stuff together. So it was cool. True or false? Y'all planted callers that would call y'all show and complain about my show. False. Okay. Are you but now sure? We, I got in trouble for that. Tim Merriman jumped my shit about that because someone called, took a shot at you, and I was like. I didn't know. I would just talk. I was like, well, I ain't going to uh, censor you. They were pissed. Tim and Peter called us in. Oh, like, no. when people call in and they say stuff about people on these airwaves, you need to make sure you hang up on them, get out of that call. We're not going to have that. And see, I don't agree with that at all. Roll with it. That's great radio. I don't know about that. Like, I don't know if you can have people calling the Unless station Unless you planted talking. them. No, That's we don't know. We never, I never did that. I okay, promise. I thought, we never did that. Okay. Never. All right. Never. But that was just people. Because we were... Taking shots at each other, we made people choose sides. That sucked. That was stupid on our part. And I never should have got caught up in it either. Me either. By calling you I was, all the infomercials. We were young and dumb. <laughs> yeah, you were like, the infomercials next. <laughs> it was funny. That was only once, by the you way. You only did it once, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I stuck out. I was like, damn, that hurt. Because it was a... <laughs> <laughs> because, people t- because people at that time were taking it as like, well, you're less than because you have to pay for your time. But then... In all actuality, to pay ourselves and pay the station, mm-hmm. do you know how much money you got to be making? You know, you yeah, know the business. For sure, you got to be making. You got to be making real money to do yeah. that. So people saw it as a bad thing, but in actuality, it was really a boss move. But that's neither here nor there. Yeah, yeah. Just a little pull behind the curtain because okay. people don't realize. A lot of people don't realize. A lot of people new to me. Maybe some people new to you don't realize we were all on the same station at once. Yeah, I think we we're Clear Channel than iHeart for sure. There's right. no doubt. We now have people watching this today. That are here only because of you. What? No, no, no. And vice versa. By the way, it goes both ways. But I think that there's people that have decided to watch and hopefully mm-hmm. will stay watching because they didn't know, they don't know who the hell I am. They know they you. Know they know you're right. on a new show. They wanted to follow you over here from the other station. And they're getting introduced to me for the first time. And they're like, oh, who's this arrogant white asshole he's working with now? But they'll get used to me. I am like the tobacco companies. But you half and half, right? Thirty-three mm, percent Hispanic. That's been proven out on Twenty-three and Me. But your pops is Hispanic. My mom. Your mom's Hispanic. My mom is. Yeah. yeah. Pops is Caucasian. Very blonde hair, blue eyed, Irish, super white, Polish, English, English, Englishman. Yeah, like super English. He's not English. His ancestors were from England. I right. looked it up. Oh. So thirty-three uh, percent. Right. Well, so. Oh, okay. So you you're that guy. Yes, that's not a bit, bad. A that's, bit. that's not bad. You sound like you sound like what was it, Lennox Lewis in here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the dude from Snowfall. What's his name? LG. Uh, the dude whatever. from Snowfall. You don't know Snowfall. No. We got to get your culture up, dog. Okay, see, that's the get thing. See, Again, there's you people that are just up. now seeing me for the first time that need to get to know me. So, we'll, we're going to have to probably do some. St- and which is great for me because I'm an old man. I like to tell stories. Yeah. We're going to have to regurgitate some stories he's heard 500 times, but maybe you haven't or people that are yeah. watching now haven't and vice versa too. Yeah, for sure. How we got together over the years is Rudy and I maintained a relationship. We always talked. Always friends. Always. Even though it got weird and we got chewed out and I called y'all the infomercial and I knew that Calvin didn't like me, that was okay. I still, I didn't care. I wanted, I wanted to be friends with you and support y'all. 
I supported the grind because of you. It's not it's not even personal now with Calvin. No, at all. I don't cares? care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's still my guy forever. I'm 49 years old. Yeah. I had to make my way. So I pissed a lot of people off in the early days to make my way. And I did. And we built it. And it's the way it went. Right. But now, so, but, but that whole time over the years, Rudy and I always chatted. Always. And that's why. And he used to be, he used to be on the show once a week when I was when on I mornings. A, yeah, when I had my golf tournament. You called me up and you're mm-hmm. like, hey, why don't you come on every Thursday? I don't remember what day. Mm-hmm. And promote the golf tournament. Right. And it helped. And then the last one that I did by myself, mm-hmm. you came out and set up a tent. And help me damn near sell the tournament out. So, again, we've always had a really good working relationship, which made my relationship in my building, on my side of things, weird. But I didn't give a shit because mm-hmm. I was like, yo, I'm a grown man. That's the bygones be bygones. So, yeah. yeah. And then you helped me with my, when I, me and my brother-in-law had my restaurant, Senior Pinkies. You yeah. said, hey, come on. Promote Senior Pinkies. Mm-hmm. And I'll come by Thunderdome. Y'all come out to lunch. And we had a line down the damn, mm-hmm. out the building. It was a small spot. But we had to line out the building, and people forever came to Senior Pinkies, even when we moved to a food truck, mm-hmm. because of that. So we've been tight for a long time. We have. I saw the picture. This posted. thing, yeah, you remember History. that? That oh. was 2016. Yeah, that terrible... No, 2015. 15? Yeah, yeah. 15, because wow. I got married in 2015, so that had to be 2015, because that was before my wedding. Mm-hmm. We've had long talks about radio and careers. I've told Rudy forever, you don't need to be working at the ticket. No, what'd you always tell me? I said, with well, that voice, you need to be in Houston spinning tunes on the box. You're right. <laughs> no. no, you should. Yeah. I thought you should have all I always time. wanted to do a Sunday night R&B show. That would have been the shit. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. I mean, I but always we have wanted a, to do You that. have your own channel now. We can but do see, whatever we, got, we, we want. We don't have no music. I can't do no music. It had to be all like. Yeah, but we can talk music. Oh, we can talk That's music. the thing is I always knew that if you were able to. And look, I mean, our paths got us here. This is they're, they're, nothing. I don't regret any of it. No. It led to this day, right? No, it's all it's all um, a part of the story. But I, I think people need thought, to know this. Go I ahead. always thought you were. What's that? Miscast. Um, in a lot, in a lot uh, of the on both lot of shows days. on with mm-hmm. uh, on Sports Grind and on R and R, I do. I, I think I do, so. I do think so? in a lot of ways. Oh, let's talk about so it. Here we are. No, let's talk about it. Okay. Like, this is why people are here. Let's talk about it. I I think that what I with this I don't know how long this show is going to last. Obviously, we're a company. We have to get viewers and sponsorships and all that tips shit. and yeah. all that shit, or it's not going to make it. But I what I think one of the things I'm so happy. I guess I'm happy to be working with you. First of all. Mm-hmm. But one of the cool parts about it is, is that I think that for the first time you'll be able to do whatever the hell you want to do. There's no consultants in here. You know, we're Don't not going to run started. a program director in here, and not, we're not going to have content lectures about what we need to talk more Spurs. Or you, well, you went right. 20 minutes and didn't get into the Cowboys once. That's not good. And when you want to talk about hip hop or a movie or your family, you should do so. I do need more culture. This is a show about I do, whatever. I, do, I, I would like to bring more culture. Mm-hmm. To San Antonio radio, I think it's lacking. Well, well, San Antonio, we're saying radio anymore. Yeah. but you get where. I'm and I'll say from. this for the guys at the ticket: everyone that ever I ever worked for over there, they always allowed they always allowed me to talk about whatever I wanted. I never once had a content meeting with Brian, the PD. That he's still there. Brian was the program director for seven years. Shout out to Gan. No, I like no Brian Gan. Yeah, Absolutely. I have no problem with Gan. That man, not, he never once had a content meeting with me. He let me stretch my legs and talk about whatever I wanted, and I always thought that you should have been able to do that too. But but it's okay. It's a fit. You know, you weren't with the right people or the culture of the places you were at weren't right. particularly conducive to that. But on this show, and we've talked about this, what we want, we're going to, I'm going to do what I've always done slash Rudy's my co-host now. Right. And so it might even change me a little bit and maybe even you a little bit for the better. For you know, sure. Because now we're together and this was a whole new venture. And I have I am thrilled, man. My prep's going to change for the first time in over in 30 years. Right. I have I have a true co-host. I, I will always cherish all the guys I've had that's worked with me. Same, same, from same. J- I have nothing bad to say about no, anybody I've worked with. From nothing. JB all the way to Puma. But to finally have a real co-host who's a partner on the show... Yeah, we are partners. Yeah, I've in this to, business, on paper too. On paper, yeah. So I'm not here. I'm not going to like change everything about me. But there's no doubt we got to we, we got to blend together. And I think yeah, it's yeah, going to yeah. be good. I'm no, excited, I think be great. dude. I'm. I'm I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to be great. I think so too. And we got to have people that go along with us. And if they do, they will. You know. But this is a long time in the in the making. I guess is what no, I'm we've trying been to trying say. to make this happen for a long, long time. Like Mike would call me, but hey, man, what's going on? What you mm-hmm. got going on? I'd be like, man, it's not a good time. This is what I got going on. I call you. You be like, man, I just signed a three year deal. Not a good time. So we were always yep. back and forth. 
Mm-hmm. Kind of like, hey, what's, what you got going on? What you got going on? And right now, it's like, what a better time. I mean, keep in mind, like, speaking on um, Sports Star, they're about to go to Vegas. Mm-hmm. I could have been a dick and been like, yo, I'm going to go to Vegas and then quit. That's a, that's a pretty, that's a dick move in my opinion. Yeah. Like, you know, don't take thousands of dollars from these people because it costs big money to do that stuff mm-hmm. and then leave. Like, that's how, you know, you know when somebody's ready to go. When you turn it down a free trip to Las Vegas to end up, to be on at Super Bowl all week. Mm-hmm. Some part of me, I was like, damn, I probably should have. But then there was a part of me like, nah, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm, it's this time. It's time. Yeah. Time to jump out the window, see if the parachute opens. Because I could have easily been like, yo, Mike, give me till after Super Bowl. You'd have been like, cool. You know what sure, I mean? Of course. But I don't want to do that. Yeah. I've been around the country already. I've, been, I've done three Super Bowls, three mm-hmm. Army Navies, three Cowboy Camps. I've done that all. It's like when the uh, the record label gives the, the artist a, 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 a car. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, okay, I got I got enough cars. Yeah. I want more money. Right. You know what I mean? I want more money now. And I make, I was making great money. Don't get it twisted. Like, you know what I mean? I'm yeah. for a great situation, a great safety net. Mm-hmm. But I'm 46. Mm-hmm. If I'm lucky, if I'm blessed, I'll use the word blessed. If I'm blessed, I make it to 70, right? Okay. So I got 24 years to try shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, what are we doing? What are we doing with our lives if you're not going to jump out the window? You know, at some point, you got to just try the things you want to try. I always wanted to work with you. I always wanted to do a pod. I always wanted to have freedom to do and say whatever the fuck I want to. Mm -hmm. So this was the opportunity with a great co-host where we can also make some money and make this into a huge company. Yeah. So again, I got 24 years, which really ain't 24 because you really got 15 before you're just like shitting on yourself and pissing yourself. Oh, you know what I mean? So I got to let's jump out the window. <laughs> I got to get used fight, to that. Fight through. Yeah, I got to fight through that. You'll but um, yeah, so I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that threw me off. LG threw me a you're rolling. You're he threw rolling. me an old tiny slider. But yeah, man, I got let's let's try this. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Oh, I don't know about that anymore. Can we can we shoot that? And that's here, become the go, biggest ass whip here of the go, year. Is here we go, Dad. I wish it would be. They need a new. It's, it's, they need about, a new it's about time. Yeah, we need a new trigger. Next I like year. the cadence, but when mm, you get beat, when you when pe- people putting up fifty on you, yeah, it's it cursed. sounds stupid. And you're Dak Prescott sucks. Six, and you're throwing pick sixes. Um, yeah, but yeah, that's a little bit. Yeah, this was not a conspiracy at all. This was. I just. It'd be no, cool it just to work happened. with you. I mean, I didn't. I, every move I made for the last 15 years was not, I need to work with Rudy. It was just doing what I need to do at the time, knowing that I would love to work with you the whole time, but never thinking it would happen. I didn't You had jobs and you went over there and when you went over to the star, I'm like, I was so happy. I called you that day. You called me. I'm like, dude, this is so great because I thought you were going to go over there and, and again, I don't want to, I don't want to, this is, this is the first time we're rehashing. We're going to move on. Let's do it. No, let's do it. I just, I thought that. I thought it would go better for you over there, I guess. And not to say it would, went terrible. What do you, well, yeah, say, say, what, say what you mean. It's cool. Say what you mean. Again, I thought you were miscast. Okay. I thought you needed to stretch your legs. And I, I thought the Rudy J that people really, really dig needed more sea legs over there. You needed some well, more latitude. Okay. You needed more room to be you. Mm-hmm. And I don't know that that happened. I don't know if it was because you were getting up super early or just the way the chemistry went with you and Rob just didn't lend itself. You were, I'm not saying the show sucked. I thought you could have been – I thought you should have You should have been the face of that station over there, not just one of the other guys. You should have been the station. They should have built it around you. That's what I thought they should have – I thought they were going to do that. I think they – And that's why I was happy for you. And I thought, well, that's it. We'll never work together because you're going to be over there 20 years. I, part of that I feel like is my fault. I'm not good with walking in the room and being saying, hey, motherfuckers, I'm here. Give mm-hmm. me the damn ball. That's not my style. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I'm a team guy, and I just I just try and go and fit in. Mm-hmm. Many occasions, upper management come to me, hey, we need more. We need more. We need more. And in my mind, I, I, just to get out of the meeting, yeah, I got you, got you, got you. Mm-hmm. But then when we get on radio, I'm going to do what works best for the show. And I felt like Rob and I did a great job. I felt like we had mm-hmm. good chemistry. I do. I felt like... It was just different. I feel like it was too many ingredients being thrown in the pot. At, and then at some point, they had both Rob and I thinking too much. And it's not that what they were throwing in the pot didn't work. Mm-hmm. It was working. Like, it worked. What they were telling us was working, but it took away from our creative juices and just being and just saying whatever the hell came to our minds Mm -hmm. because we started thinking like, 
well, they said we got to do this and they said we got to do that. And so he's, I can see him thinking, he can see me thinking. Okay. And then it sounds like we're thinking. And this is like a quarterback. If a quarterback's not out there just reacting, he's going to play like shit. If he's out there like, well, I got to go through progression one. And if the safety comes up, no, you just got to go play. And at some point along the line, we just stopped playing. And it got, it didn't get, it was, again, it was never a uh, personal thing. Mm -hmm. It just, I feel like they just started throwing too many ingredients in the pot and shit got weird. Yeah. And I was just like, you know what? I'm not really having fun anymore. Mm -hmm. Well, and I'm not really happy with, nah, let me see how to word that. What's, look, again, I made great money, but I always wanted more. <laughs> I always wanted more. I was making really good money, but I wanted more. But I taken a step back because I see, I see what I was seeing, and I think this is going to be huge. Right. I want also the messages. We we didn't get here because we got shit on. I don't never, want that. Never, never. Or, I was. They were yeah, great. To I could have stayed at the ticket. They bent for, over backwards. Yeah, for me. I could have yeah. stayed there ten more years, and just stayed on autopilot. But man, I just I needed a different a different challenge. Right. I needed to do something on my own. Like you said, we're not getting any younger. Right. And I needed to figure out if I could do this on my own or not. I just really needed to do that. And it, I did not want to regret not trying, even if it cost me my career, which is crazy, I guess, in hindsight. But I needed to do it. I've gotten a lot better at this YouTube. And then <laughs> and I never anticipated. My bad. Uh, and, of course, there's, I, I, I never – you can't anticipate what's going to happen. No. So it's like I, I I made the decision that I needed to go solo for a little while on Mike I remember Taylor talking Live. to you before you did it. Mm -hmm. You were like, dude, I'm, this shit is scary, but I, it's time. Right. I needed to get back, get my chops back. Right. I was reliant. I was re, I was too reliant on Sam, and w without asking him to be the legitimate co-host, and that was on me. You know, it was, and so I needed to get back to. I needed to suffer and do six months by myself, and could have been six years and see how it goes. Then when you came available, that changed the game because you're the only guy that I can think of in this town that I would consider making equal co-host. Not that I didn't want a co-host, but you're the only one in this town that I would consider doing it with. Right. And all of a sudden now you're available. Well, shit, that's changed. Well, he and I had a long conversation. What did LG say? Tell the truth. He said, I got thick skin. That's less money for the company. Now we got to share money with his ass. <laughs> God damn, LG. Is that what you said? LG was like, I ain't spitting my money no so more. So I said, what if we raise our rates? He's like, okay, fine. No, no, dude, are you kidding? We've been wanting, no, it was no. fucking no brainer. Yeah, A more no curtain. brainer. Yeah. So more curtain behind. I would talk to LG periodically as well because I would see shit he was doing with you. I would see other stuff he was doing. Mm -hmm. And I was, I'm a big social media guy and I would hit up LG, but hey, man. I want you to do this and I want you to do that. And then he was sitting the sheet and I'm like, shit, I can't afford it. I can't afford it. <laughs> so I mean, let me get back. I've been trying to link up with Rudy J for a while. No, we yeah. have, bro. Yeah, he would have dumped my not, ass probably. I'm, because I've, I've, I've been a small business owner so long, yep. I'm not going to ask you to cut your price. So I would just be like, okay, what's it going to cost me to do this? And LG was sending. I'd be like, okay, well, I'll get back to him. Right. <laughs> Before we started Mike Taylor Live, I was actually re wanted to meet up with Rudy to see if we could start something. You did. You did. And, and, uh, I, was, and I was like, damn, I can't afford LG right now. But it's Mike Taylor point, Live blew up. So yeah, Mike just, Taylor Live I had took to, off. I had to pump the brakes yeah. on that with Rudy. And then Rudy went to the stars. So. Well, yeah, well, then we'll just bring Rudy over and fuck everybody. You know? There so we go. this is what yeah. I'll say about this, and we can let all this pass. It's fine. It is what it is. No, it's cool. I don't have any animosity towards anybody life is way too short Same. everything led Same. to here this show is going to be good i'm happy to be Great. working with you i think we're going to do really well i'm confident um it's a risk um but it's not it's not it is and it's not it's only a risk because it's something different um and it and it relies on our legwork you know this show is only going to be part this only part of what we do here right this show is 10 15 of the whole fucking company the rest of the our, our, we got to go sell. We got to promote. We got this. We're looking, we're, I'm the marketer. I'm the co-host. I'm the director. I'm sanitation. I'm HR. Needed some help. Sanitation. <laughs> I, I mean, needed help. And so when you yeah. became available, I, I see in you that help, and it's already paid off. It, it's already working out. It's literally already paid off. No, I mean, now I ain't going to lie. Something happened, and I, did, I didn't think it was a coincidence, you know, to, you know, and then we could, you know, put a bow on this. When you quit, in June, mm -hmm. you quit in June. Yeah. Our station, Sports Star, let go of Michael Jimenez in June. In my mind, I'm like, oh, they're going to go get, I thought they were going to go get you. Mm -hmm. That didn't materialize. I, I don't know what happened with that, but I thought for sure 
they were going to come and get you. I was like, this. I didn't think that. I thought there was too much of a coincidence mm -hmm. that because I knew you had a six month. What's it called? Non compete. Mm -hmm. So it's just like may, they couldn't hire anybody till January. So I was like, oh shit. I was, I was telling my wife every night, it's the worst kept secret in radio. The Mike Taylor's coming over here. I already <laughs> fucking know it. You know what I mean? It, it, that never materialized. But I always thought that you were going to come over to the star. Yeah. I mean, it's not that like. That would have been. I'm not going to say no to anything, especially at that time. Right. I mean, I wanted to try our little company. And I would never go work for an old school station again if they wanted to mess with this. I mean, we're too far along down the road with this. Mm -hmm. It's not that I will never would never work for another station or even would work for them. But it, it, I was never offered a job. No, I, mean, I, I, I know nobody ever offered me a gig. I just don't, and I don't know that culturally. I don't know they could afford you anyway. Well, I don't know that culturally I fit in over there. I just don't what know do that mean? it would work. Why I mean, not? They do a different kind of radio, and I do it, and I'm so used but to I now wouldn't, but, but having if, my, if I'm, my own boss. If I'm the, in the hiring process, I'm not bringing you over to fit in. I'm bringing you over to do Mike Taylor shit. You see, I thought they were going to do that with you, and they didn't. Again, that's my I, fault too. Well, they I didn't, think that's my fault too. Yeah, but you got. I, 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 I was trying too hard to fit right in. Now, look, man, I have less. I have less money than right now than I've had in a long time. But I'm paying. My, my bills are paid. I ate right, and so it's a fledgling thing. Right. I. This was more about me wanting to do this, even though it was a bit of a risk, right? And so I would consider going over there, but I only really wanted to do it if I was going to get to work with you. Working with you meant a lot, you know, and it was going to have an, Im an impact on what I do. And so then all of a sudden, this thing does start making a little bit of money. It's okay, okay. You know, right, six months has already come and gone. That's crazy. Um, we have turned down an opportunity to work for a network. You have? Yeah. You oh, know that's which right. One. Yeah, you told me. That's yeah. right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tony Bruno wanted, they had a huge interest in me and LG. That dude's a weirdo. Well, and it didn't work out for a number of reasons, and that that's a weirdo. Yeah, his Twitter feed is one of the one yeah. of them. But it's not a, again. I have a family. I have bills to pay, so it's not like well, if you don't that don't don't mess with me and right. let me do my own thing. But it didn't work out because they wanted me, and what they did not know is I was working on bringing you over here. So I'm like, I made the decision. I'm not going to go risk working for a fledgling network. I already have a fledgling network. I need to have this show, this little company, where it needs to be. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go jump and ship now. I put six months into this. I invested my time and literally money. I got to see this thing through. And then with knowing that you wanted to come over, I was I would have turned down pretty much anything. I we needed this to happen. Right. Oh, I, I agree. need this. This is now checked off. I think it's going to be really awesome for a long time. Uh, but I would have regretted it to my deathbed had I. I'll just go. I'll just work. I'll just tell Rudy. Never mind. I'll go work for Tony Bruno. Or I'll just start sending demo tapes and I'll just move to another town and just keep doing old school radio. Right. Now, this is the baby. This is what I wanted to do. And with you coming over, I have, I can't tell you how reinvigorated I am. Rudy, in my last year at the ticket, I was literally taking a shot or two of booze before every show. God damn. Because I just didn't want to do it anymore. I wanted to be a teacher or a truck driver. You know, I joke about being a truck driver, but I had. And it seems, and again, I don't want to cry too much about this. Oh, no, poor no, fucking no, talk no, show no, host. Ahead, He's tired ahead. of his football show. Talk your shit. Well, I got guys out working 50 hour work weeks right. right now. I just, I didn't want to do it anymore. Not under those circumstances. Right. I was drinking during the day. It was like, it was like the pandemic all over again. I don't need to be taking two shots of whiskey at 3.15 in the afternoon so I can get to seven. What's wrong with that? Because I was doing it for the <laughs> wrong kidding. reasons. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, if that's we not good. Uh, that's not I'm good. Happy. We should take a toast in here today. You got some liquor? Oh, LG uh, ain't got yeah, no liquor got, in like, here. He got that peanut butter. He got that coconut shit I got him from Texas Cheer the other day. Oh, okay. No, that's different. Yeah, I got I some was, whiskey up in here. Yeah, drinking, let me get a shot. Dude, I was taking shots to get through. Not to sell them, not because I was happy, to right. get me through. Because I needed. I wanted to do this. I, and I had a vision. And... Of course, it, I didn't. I didn't foresee it going this way because I didn't. I never thought you'd be available, and, but here you are. And yeah, I, and, no. And I I want to make it work. I want to. That's another thing. I'm reinvigorated. I'm also. I'm hyped because you've showed faith in what we're doing over here. Yeah, and yeah. I now want to make this work more than ever because you made this decision. No, this is great. The getting to come over here is gravy. Like I was, I was already to the point where I was going to leave regardless and mm -hmm. just go and do my own mm -hmm. pod situation. Yeah. But then when you and I talked, I was like, okay, well then 
because I was, you know, I was ready to do one, try some other things two, focus on a couple of businesses that my wife and I have. And mm -hmm. three, it's just like, OK, well, you've kind of told me like. Spurging the star, like y'all not the guys on the star, not the talent. But upper management, y'all told me, like, hey, we'll be fine without you. In so many words, I'm paraphrasing. But mm -hmm. when you tell me, mm -hmm. when I'm going on three years and I haven't gotten not one raise, yeah. you're telling me, like, we're going to be fine with or without you. So at that point, you stand on business and, like, okay, you grab your balls and walk out the door. Because you, you can't let people play with you for so long. You That's know what right. I mean? After, after so long. Especially when you know you leveled up the station. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I, I definitely, not by myself, mm -hmm. obviously. Yeah. But when I know what I brought to the table and I know we went from 94.5 to 103.3 to 94.1 and I was a huge part of that and you keep telling me and then you put another hour on us and you don't give us another raise, like, all right, enough's enough. Like, I've been in a bad situation before. Mm -hmm. so, you know, yeah. first time shame on me, you know, first time shame on you, second time shame on me. You know what I'm saying? So, like, no, I'm not doing that anymore. Right. Life's too short. I've wasted 10 years at Nationwide. <laughs> miserable. <laughs> fucking miserable at a call center. No, no disrespect to call center, but I was miserable. I hated my life. Wasted 10 years there. Then I did 14 years of Calvin. It's like, okay, at some point, you got to stop. Just get out of the situation if you're not feeling it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And take a chance. You can ask Jim Bob or Hutch or God bless Tracy, rest in, rest in peace, or Puma, anyone. I've told everybody that I know. Oh, Tracy, damn. Rudy is the most underrated, least appreciated talk show host in Texas. Thank you. I just Damn. again that goes back to what I just felt like maybe you were miscast at, at other places. I just think you could have your career never should have gotten to where you were miserable. It never should have gotten to that point. Mm. But we're happy it did at Love You Hard <laughs> TV. Okay, give me, dude. My I'm God. fucking hype, man. My this God. is cool, and I. Yippee ki motherfucker. No, sorry, if you have to forgive us. We're just shooting the shit today, but we felt like we needed to start this first one. To, I just, think people needed to hear this. Yeah, I yeah I do too. But now it's about moving on. I also I don't look back. I'm, I just I don't like it. Um, it's it's a waste of time. It's futile. It doesn't put money into the into this no, company. No, it doesn't no, put food on the table. All. It doesn't at all. And once we now we will move forward, and we'll take I'll take things that I've done in my career all these years and mesh them with Rudy and LG, and it's a whole new thing. I gotta tell you, I mean I. I didn't. I woke up early this morning. I did too. I couldn't I slept sleep. Great. I I didn't sleep well. Uh, but I I woke up because I didn't want. I wanted to come to work. I didn't sleep well because I was, I was like I was kind of trying to play it out in my head, and then I'm sleep. I slept downstairs for the past couple of nights because my five year old's not feeling well, and I was uh -huh. like I can't get sick this oh, week. Oh yeah. So I slept downstairs, and I'm mm -hmm. too old to sleep on the couch, <laughs> so my yeah. back is fucked. Oh but, no. But but I I was I was up all night because I was like all right, how's this gonna work out? What's my what are me and Mike gonna talk about? What are we gonna do? Yeah. How's this shit gonna work? Is this shit gonna work? You know, I know what I mean? Like, funny. I think, you know, and I told somebody that I was like, yeah, I'm nervous. Only because if you're nervous, then that means it's the right move. If I wasn't nervous, then that just means like, oh, okay, you just move into another comfortable situation. You should be a little uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. I hope you're a little uncomfortable because that's the only way this is going to be big because it's got to yeah, feel. I'm not scared. No. I'm nervous. Right. And I told Rudy the other day, I feel like, I feel like this is, I felt all last week not doing shows that I was I was getting you ready took for off a, last week, didn't you? Uh huh. Yeah, I wanted to hype our thing. <laughs> right, right. And we did. And we did. And I, I, I all week I, I was like, I feel like next Monday I'm in a I'm in a heavyweight fight. Right. Same. I'm hyped for the Same. fight. I'm not scared to fight, but I'm nervous. It's a big fight. It's a big playoff game. Yeah. Us getting together is a big deal to me. Yeah. And I've been reinvigorated. I'm excited. I have. I've not had this much energy um, in years. Yeah. Uh, I've not wanted to get up and do this job for a living as much as I want to now. It's been a long time. Right. And thank you, man. I no, appreciate thank you, it. man. I'm I'm glad to be here. Now, you know, I ain't gonna lie. It was a little weird that I quit Friday. Friday was my last day, and then our video drops on Monday. I was like, damn. I was like, you know what I mean? It yeah. was like, what do you mean? Felt, well, it made felt, us look great. I know, man. It, it was a great video. It was one of the best, you know, best hot. Is it called a highlight? LG, a great highlight promo trailer, whatever. But yeah. it was kind of like yeah. hype video. Like Rudy's yeah. an ass. Like damn, Rudy's an asshole. Like so, he just leaves Friday and then he has a, a video out Monday going to his next gig. Some people were pissed at me. Well, full disclosure. Some people were pissed. Full at me. disclosure. We wanted to start our show on the fifteenth. Or the 16th Couldn't round. do that. I had to make sure. I didn't yeah. want to burn any bridges because those people at the sports star were good to me. So I was like, hey, when I went to management, I was like, let me know what works best for mm -hmm. the transition. Yeah. 
So I, I didn't, I was again, they've done wonders for me. Grew my brand over there, took me around the country, have nothing yeah, bad to say about good. it. So I wanted to make sure that I left where they could figure out what they wanted to do for the time being. Right. So, I want, I, so we had to delay it a little bit. Yeah. We're doing this because we think this is going to be great. Mm -hmm. It's not just because we, I was drinking before I went on. Or you were you're a miscast. Right. This is also I want. I just want to do this show. Right. This is me too. The, this is the best show in town already today. Period. I, I agree. With I don't that. give a shit what anybody thinks. It that. is, and it's one. I agree with that one hundred percent. Yeah. And now it's time to build it because it's like I'm so excited that we finally pulled this off. Like, oh shit. Now what do we do? We got that part's the hard part's done. Now you're here, and now we just fucking go. We just yeah. fucking go. And this show won't like my my style won't change the direction of this is and what's cool about this man we own this show. It's ours. Yeah. It's, on paper. Yeah, for real. We own On paper. It. And it's our baby. And we really are family. Well, the reason right. why the idiot from Dallas was able to come down here, <laughs> get a job maybe he shouldn't have gotten. Right. And others got passed over. For, for no, me it, to make it worked that out. Work, right. Yeah, yeah. I, the, uh, the show has, over the years, and I'm grateful for this, it became a real family. And I think that sounds cheesy, but it's true. No, I got you. This show is a partnership between you and me and LG and the viewers and everybody chatting today and our sponsors, our supporters. Shout out to our sponsors. This town, Rudy and I have big plans, big plans, big dreams for sure. Yeah. Maybe this just winds up being a five or six year run. We're just a good little local show. We make some money and that's it. It fizzles out. Maybe we get hired by a massive fucking podcast company and we're both rich in a year. I have no idea. But I do know this. The foundation of what we do will never stray from this town. We're based here. The OG people that you sure are here. You want to say that? Yeah, yeah. You sure? I will all. No, yeah. You sure? I, I'll work for other networks, but I don't. I'm a San Antonian forever, no matter where I live, no matter where I go. All the right. years I've moved, I was yeah, never around the country. This is, my heart yeah. is here. Yeah. And it's not because I just love the geography. It's the people that are here. The people in this town right. accepted me. They let this idiot Mavs fan from Dallas come in here and be him. And for whatever reason, it worked with a lot of them. For sure. And this move I make today is it's for the betterment of us as a company. It's better for the betterment of me, but I hope it's for the betterment of our of, of Thunderdome or our listeners or viewers, or whatever, our subscribers, our members. I'm getting used to all the living, all the lingo. You got to say it all. Yeah. yeah. Um, but we'll, I want y'all to go with us, Thunderdome. Take this ride with me. You've ridden with me all these years, all these cities, putting up with all these different life changes and career moves and different board ops. I think Stay our, with I me. think my, I hate saying that. See, I don't even like saying that shit. But I think my fans and your fans always kind of were the same. A lot of them, for sure. I think they were. The I think same. they're like, happy to see this. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. So I think it's only right. it only makes sense for us to at least mm -hmm. at least shoot this shot. Yes, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like I don't mind packing my bag and going to see what's behind the mountain. No, you know what I mean. Like I that's need, no. A I lot of family. people like yeah. A lot of people feel like you know. I think I feel like a lot of people are like. You know, if God said, hey, oh, behind that mountain, you climb that mountain, get down that mountain, there's a million dollars waiting for you. Everybody would do it. Of course. But if you don't know, mm -hmm. that makes the journey different. Are you willing to take that journey not knowing? Yeah. See, I don't know what the hell's going to happen with us, but I'm willing to take the journey and find out. Yeah. And let the chips fall. Right. You feel me? Yeah. So that's that's where I'm at. Yeah. And that's why I think it's best. To, we need to lean on our people, our supporters, not just our partners and sponsors, mm -hmm. our, 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 the listener, the viewer. He is just a bigger part of the success of this show. You know, this town is so cool because it's a great big little town. It's and if the you're biggest loyal to, small city in for, America. No question. Yeah. If you're loyal if you're loyal to it, <laughs> yeah. it is loyal to you. Facts. And that's Rudy why all the Spurs I, stay. Yeah, we I, we right. do want to be the next big show. We, we want Fox to I, hire I, us. I agree with Hell that. yeah. I want to sure. I want to well, let's go work with Pat McAfee. But all that we're shit. but we're San Antonians. At and heart. we always will be, and we can't get there without this start, without right. the foundation, without these people, like 95% of which are probably San Antonians related to the city, connected to the city in some way. Mm -hmm. This is our foundation. We would love to have a million subscribers in a year, and but I just want to make that clear, Thunderdome. Y'all are doing, y'all are, a, if we, however big we get, if we ever do, it all started today with our little local show, and I never want to, I don't want, I don't want our people to, think that you know taylor we're getting too big time or whatever i, I don't want that 
You don't. I, I want to be. A, I want to be a high paid, nationally recognized small show. <laughs> that's what I was gonna say. I ain't never heard Mike say I don't want to be big time. That's the first time I've ever heard you say that in my 15, 20 years. Well, I don't, you. I don't want to be an asshole about it. I don't want to be a jerk. I want to. I'm. I want to remain. I'm humble, man. I really am. The uh, 2010 Taylor is. I always took I you for the guy that wanted to be known as an ass, um, not on on air. I, that you know, outside mm-hmm. looking in. This is before I knew you, mm-hmm. and then once I got to know you, I was like, I would tell my wife, I was like, he's nothing like. I was like, Mike's cool. <laughs> well, Dak Prescott might think different, but yeah, I get. I knew what you're saying. You know what yeah. I'm saying. Wade Phillips might not think that I'm cool, but right. Got to get to know you. But I'm also, but I'm genuine. Facts and not well, everybody's going to like be, you. I wouldn't I guess. be here if I didn't. Well, I know. If I thought you, were, if I really thought you were an ass, I wouldn't be doing this. Understood. Yeah, nobody wants to work with an asshole. No, but I can be abrasive. I can be for sure acerbic on the air. I can be mean to people, and you know. But it's mostly just the people that I care about, like the Cowboys. Unfortunately, I do want them to win, but I'm very hard on them. I'm, I hate that they lost. I thought we were going to get to do like a Cowboy. I, I thought our first show was going to be Cowboys headed to the NFC Championship. I did too. I of course they lost. Them bastards didn't even get out the gosh right. damn wild card round. See, that's why I'm like, Dak might think I'm an asshole, but I'm it is. It is. I mean, good, but but my emotions are always true. You know, do we embellish on occasion? Sure. Do we do? We bits? have to. You bet your. We ass. have to. But who I am is who I am. But I've also evolved over the years. I hope you have. I've grown. You have. I'm more mature, I guess. But I haven't. I haven't run off the core Thunderdomers, and they're just gonna have to take this ride. You with don't me. do the. Um, hmm. You don't do the hot chick bracket no more. No, that was year one. They only did it one year. I thought you did like three. Uh, well, but I don't know. I don't know. It's so long ago. The company you, finally we, we, we grow up. The the company finally what? I they didn't finally like kiboshed it. Yeah, really? Mm-hmm. We're getting, I thought you just chose to because you grew like you're like, dude, I'm a married man. Like I don't give a damn about that anymore. I think oh, I don't bad. think it would have lasted. It wouldn't have been going on now. But the company had something to say about that. You know. I would have gotten over that too. That was yeah, a neon you know, sign. Just, yeah, I thought you were just like, ah, uh, that's no. old. I'm I've, I'm matured. I'm not doing that anymore. It's part of that. I also, have a 25 year old daughter. You know, I didn't, and I, she was nine. <laughs> I got a 27 year old daughter. Right, she was nine in those days. You know, you know, I'm, I've evolved as a human being. I don't, Absolutely, that's what I didn't thought. they kibosh it because of your strip club incident? They kibosh doing remotes at strip clubs because Same. I vomited all over the men's club. Yeah, but weren't who these, you did? You were getting yeah. the strippers from the strip club to pick do the picks, right? They were doing right. football picks. Yeah, we had Wait, football picks wasted? with strippers. Were you wasted at men's club and you threw up everywhere? Yeah, you know, and see, <laughs> that, that's what I decided. Maybe I should quit coming here all the time. And I was getting paid to do it. Yeah, but when I when I'm I'm on my knees. Face in toilet, vomiting in the floor of a strip club fucking bathroom. That's when I'm like, dude, you need to you need to reevaluate. You imagine what's on I the floor? Hear, I've strip never club? heard that story. Yeah, man, they had to really. They had to like had had two dudes had to carry me. And like the owner's like, oh no, he can't be seen. He was freaking out because I was overserved. He didn't want people. Oh, Taylor's in here and he's fucking hammered. He's like, take him through the kitchen. So I was fine. I puked in the bathroom. They're carrying me through the kitchen of the men's club. What the and I was fine. I'm like, guys, I feel okay. But then we went through the kitchen. He didn't want me going through the front door. Get his ass through the kitchen door. But it was so hot in the kitchen because they were you made cooking. You throw up more. It made me sick again. And we get out to the parking lot and I just vomited all over my buddy Hef's shoes. They, I had a. And remember Gonzo, the engineer? Of course. He's driving me home in the ticket FJ, by the way, the company owned car, while I'm in the passenger seat, ralphing into a trash bag. And that's when you're like, all right. That, that was it. This is stupid. This is dumb. Yeah, we had sugars for a while. Strip clubs paid good money. They did, and I didn't have any money. I had a low salary. Strip clubs played really well. I mean, sugars I know, was I'm paying us well. I'm not anti-strip club. Just the stupid shit we've done in there over the years. And, and the, I just, I've, I've gotten over it. I'll go to one. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying they shouldn't exist. I don't really I'm go not, much. I, I, me and my wife like to expensive. go. Yeah, me and my wife like to go, but we don't. If we go, we go when we're out of town. Like, we like Houston strip clubs. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Better. Yeah, you're all, it's y'all are alone. You're having fun. You're drinking. It's fine. It makes the night better. I'm not hating on it. makes the, the night better. No, you ain't got no okay, boogers, cool. though. Okay, cool. I'll tell you. <laughs> That's cold. Do. That's always. guy code. No, guy always code. I got to tell you. Yeah, I'm going to tell you. I ain't going to let you all be right. on with all these people watching this with, <laughs> with, with a booger in your nose, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, me and my buddy used to, we would go to Splash Town, me yeah. and my buddy Jeff, and we'd be like, hey, man, this is the signal. Don't let me be. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. don't be letting me be trying to talk to some chick at Splash Town with yeah. boogers in no, my nose. No, I just felt, like, cru- let me know. I felt crust on the end nah, of it. No, no, you good. Uh-oh. I promise yeah, I'll okay, tell you, though. All right, very good. 
Yeah. Um, so ride with us, man. Um, this is obviously we'll get all this shit out of the way and we'll we'll, we'll get on with the with the show. But um, this is great coffee. Oh, he's Damn. got oh he's got good shit. This is good shit. It's that espresso. I'm used to radio station coffee. You don't even eat cream. It's so nothing. Good. It's good. So good. Yeah, yeah. Welcome, welcome to the high life, my friend. Yeah, it's so Damn, frothy. Man. Yeah, Nespresso. I can't take LG serious with oh, this Edgar. One of these days, I know. Well, <laughs> Jeez, we got we're gonna get to that okay, today, right? One of these days. Uh oh. Well, well, we'll get it. We'll, we'll tell the story of you know there, there will be coffee in here that you're gonna be drinking, you're gonna love, but it had we on occasion we order real high dollar coffee from Indonesia. What? That they they feed to what's the name of the the wild cat? The uh, luwak. 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 Cat. There's a luwak. It's called. There's a wild cat in Indonesia called a luwak cat. Okay. It's like a mongoose. Yeah. Okay. Basically, it's a, like a mongoose, a bigger, ferocious yeah, yeah, yeah. mongoose. And they feed it coffee beans. They wait for the beans to go through its system. They pick the beans out of the shit. And make the coffee I'm with it. I'm not drinking that. Yeah, you. No, I'm love not it. drinking you're that. Lo- you're I'm not it. drinking it's shitty awesome. coffee. Literally, but it's so good. They our, roast our it. They roast it afterwards. Awesome. Yeah, it's good. What do you mean they roast it afterwards? That's like me saying, "Yo, hey, Lord, hey, I'm gonna piss in this cup and boil it, and then I'm gonna have you drink it." Like, what, I'm not eating. I'm not drinking you know, shit coffee. You don't have the diet of the Luwak wildcat. The Luwak wildcat of Indonesia has a clean diet. He's plant based. You're not plant based. Probably had fast food already this week once. I'll bring you some. You can take a sip. It's good. Don't tell him when we give it to him. Then we'll tell him <laughs> after. You're oh, you love. Don't let me drink shitty coffee. Then tell me afterwards. Because you won't drink it if I if you know what it no, is going I'm not. in. See, we we'll have to trick him into drinking. It's good. We got good coffee here at this company. That's it. You know, Thailand. <laughs> Thailand is now doing the same thing with elephants. See, now that's worse. I know that. How just, do you figure? Because just because you're plant based, <laughs> don't mean I'm gonna eat your shit. <laughs> Like that doesn't make no sense. Like, oh well, he's plant based. That, that's our first Rudy yeah, drop like, right there. Way, yo, well, he's plant based. It's cool. Go ahead and put this shit on the, in, on his plate. Like that don't make no sense, dog. Oh shit! Anyways. All right, it's in the building, man. Yeah, it is. With Mike and Rudy, ride with us. Become a subscriber. It's absolutely free. Uh, our, let me say this: Wait. memberships are six bucks a month. Membership, correct. It's free to click subscribe, but yes. to be a member, right. It's six dollars a month. What's six dollars, man? You pay that. Nothing. You you spend that on your chai tea, coffee, mm-hmm. vanilla bean, three pumps. Oh, one cup of Luwak Wildcat coffee is like eleven dollars. It's so good. Shitty coffee costs eleven dollars. Six bucks a month. Yeah. To be the a most member. expensive coffee in the world. Trust us when we say that you're going to want to become a member. If you are true and you want to see everything we do, right? Just know that being a member will be very beneficial to our people. Uh, because we have a lot of members only stuff in store. Speaking of members only, the other day I posted the very first day that me and Mike met face to face at Ticket Seven Sixty. I posted the uh, the radio clip mm-hmm. of uh, was it Sports Talk San Antonio back then? It might have been. It was, uh, was STSA. Yeah, yeah, it was STSA. Yeah. When you came so if board. you're a member, you can go and listen to the first time that I ever met Mike Taylor. It was on the air. Yeah, it wasn't even before the show. And LG act like he didn't like you. Well, again, I was nervous. You can hear the nervousness. Well, see, I in just feel voice. like LG's just a chill. It's not that LG doesn't like LG's one of the coolest dudes I know, but he's mm-hmm. so chill. You can think like, damn, I don't know if he likes me. Oh, wait till you get to know me. I'm a, I'm a, he's fine. I'm a grump. He's Are you grump? grumpy? Is, yeah, he, I'm a grump. is he a grumpy old man? Even though he's not old. Yeah, he's a grumpy yeah. old man. Yeah, he needs to get more. He needs to get laid more. <laughs> Pandemic messed all my stuff hey, up. Should, this is a guy who used to. He'd go through 40 girls a year when he was traveling. Mm, now it's maybe not four. Are we, gonna, are we really maybe doing this? Wh- yeah. Are we doing this, LG? We, gonna, we just going to let this man say you ain't getting no we'll ass? Get He's been doing laid. it for 20 years. We'll get him laid. He'll be be- it'll be better for us. LG, do you need more ass? <laughs> Who doesn't? There's, there's, <laughs> there's, drop, there's drop two. <laughs> are you marking Rudy's drops? <laughs> we got to build our drop page. Maybe too. this haircut will get me some. Hey, man, I'm married. We schedule ours. Really? I read that's you gotta, good. You got to schedule it? I've read that's good. <laughs> Spontaneity. Y'all man. really do? Like, hey, Wednesday, 9 o'clock, what's up, what's up? Try. Get your freak on. Just like, hey, well, no, the house going to be free. Mm-hmm. Saddle up. We could be loud. Oh, you know that's I mean? nice you when the house saying? is free. Then you could be loud. I'm loud. I'm loud on purpose when there's no one home because I can be. Ah, yeah, ah, see what I'm saying? Ah, oh, I need, every now and then you need that. Every now and then you need to just be loud. Every now and then you need to moan loudly. See. You know what I mean? See. So, yes, so, yes, 
Yes. Jesus. Oh. Oh. No. Oh. I'm not packing like that to oh, where she God. ever has to do all that. God. Yeah. All right. We already have a remote week one, baby. Oh, yeah. We do got a remote. Week one. Where are we all going? Right. So let me, let me plug this. Okay. I know this show is just kind of for just whatever, but Thursday, our first remote. Where are we going? In the building. We're going to go to Texas Cheer Liquor. Of course we are. Uh, what's the number, number on that nine. one? That's nine. That one That's on Culebra. Yeah, 1604 Culebra. But from my, coming from my house, if I'm mm-hmm. coming from the west, it's, you exit Shanefield. Oh, okay. Even though it's Culebra Commons, it's, mm-hmm. I exit Shanefield. So, yeah, just look look it up. Texas Cheer Liquor number nine. I'm sure we're going to have samples, giveaways, all that good stuff. Yeah, AD man. always takes care of us when we come out there. So Texas Cheer Liquor labels itself on Siri. Like I go to Siri, you put Texas Cheer Liquor number nine, and it'll take you to that exact one. Oh, okay. Because if you just put Texas Ch- Cheer Liquor, it shows you all nine of them. Okay. What's number nine specifically? Number nine. 1604 in Culebra in the Culebra Common Shop. Right, 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 right. Right there along the freeway. So 11 to 1, we're going to be this out there? This Thursday, 11 to 1. So okay. this will be a big test for us. We never, yeah, I know. It's our first remote, yeah. but it's at a, it's our show's eleven to one. It's not really the most friendly remote time, but, a, but this would be a, a see who can like kick off on a lunch break. Just come over. I want to see hang. who th- if Thunderdome is really riding with this. Figure the shit out. Yeah, figure it out. Like I'm not gonna make excuses for these people. These people, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not at Thunderdome. I'm coming in here kicking y'all in the ass. Get your ass. Figure it's used. It's Monday. You got three days to figure right. out how to come okay, by. You're an asshole if you don't come yeah, in, Thunderdome. There, there you don't go. Be a dick. Like, don't, come on, man. I'm not, don't, don't, don't sugarcoat this shit. <laughs> Y'all figure this shit out and come see us, man. We're going to have some samples no, and all that good stuff. Up. All right. And so, then you go back to work with a little buzz. That's fine. Yeah. So, that yeah, this Thursday, 11 to 1, regular show time, Texas yeah. Cheer Liquor, 1604 in Culebra. Uh, be there and watch this show in, in the flesh. LG, I told you about Thursday, right? Yes. Okay. Hell yeah, you better okay. have. There ain't well, no remote if LG don't know. <laughs> what the hell we gonna do? That's why I'm. That's why I'm making sure he knows. And while we're thanking people and doing shit, by what the way, what else we got? Uh, this show is brought to you in part by Texas Cheer Liquor, the official liquor store right. of this show. Uh, and, and Texas Cheer Liquor, the law office of Orlando Kell. These are our two OG supporters. Right off the top, we have another one that I'm going to announce in a couple of weeks once they're ready to roll. Uh, we're working Shout on out to Mo. Orlando. I talked yeah. to Orlando via text. Oh, you did? Very yeah, good. Yeah. He hit me up. He I'm sure he back. was thrilled. Awesome. Yeah. Shout out to Orlando. Very good. So thank you to Texas Cheer Liquor. There's nine in this area. We're going to be at the at number nine, 1604 and Culebra Commons uh, on Thursday from 11 to 1. And by the way, thank you to Prestige Motorsports. Shout out to Prestige. I want to give them. Big time. Uh, there's a guy over there called Nick Barnes. What up, Nick? Nicky Barnes, He's one of the swaggy. great, he one of the, swaggy he was a heroin dealer in Harlem in the seventies. <laughs> well, there was a, there was a guy called Nicky. No, Nicky, but you, yeah, oh, yeah, this see, is I'm, a different I'm, Nick I'm, Barnes. I'm happy you know Nicky Barnes. That makes me happy. This is the culture I'm talking about. You just wait. You have no idea what I know. I got so much. You shit from in Fort my Worth? Head. That's the most ratchet place in Texas. You should have a little bit of urban in you. Fort Worth is ratchet as fuck. If we could play tunes, I'd make him play something right now and blow your mind. We need to go do have a karaoke night too. At some point. I don't know about that, Mike. You gonna have a no I know, whole new uh, perspective. LG, I know my LG ass. people like that LG voice? people like karaoke, don't they? You can't sing. Who me? Yeah, so say you can sing. <laughs> wow, that's racist. No, I oh, can't. He's sing. so racist against his own people. It's yeah, ridiculous. he can do that. No, I, I I can't sing at all. At all. Well, maybe you can just talk me in. Maybe just intro me. No, no, I can. Yeah, I could. Yeah, not the the whole voice, the whole mm-hmm. Barry White shit. I can do that, yeah, but that's I what can't. I'm talking about. I can't sing at can all. Can you rap? Of course, I was see, a rapper for. A while. I had a okay, rap career. I had a see, small rap career. Okay, t- oh, hang on. Things I don't know local, about Rudy. Local, very small, small. rap career. Hell yeah, I need man. to write that down. I was kind of dope. Rudy kinda. J. Quote: I was kind of dope. Kind of. <laughs> well, then I turned thirty-two and I was like, "This shit ain't working." Okay. I quit. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to. Re- we're gonna have to reinvent your career. I have also rapped in my time in front of people. What do you mean? I've rapped in front of people. I've I've actually rapped like karaoke rap or your own bars. I do. I did. Uh, I did church. I rapped in church a couple of times. Oh, you did gospel rap. I did some gangster gospel rap. Oh, yes. Um, but I can do some R and B from the, that's my shit. The nineties. Can you, oh All really? It, everything. See, this show is gonna be fine. You know Nicky Barnes. These you know nineties R and B. This is the things that you don't get to talk about now. Nineties R and B is important to me. If you don't like nineties R and B, you're probably not gonna get along. Throw a group out. Throw a singer or a group. What you know pick, about pick somebody. Troop, Guy. Okay. Write Jodeci. all these down. Okay. Of course, Jodeci, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Babyface. Guy, you can have a piece of my love. Yeah, they, oh. Okay, okay, this is important. 
I do love Now, there's a guy that's in jail that's probably the best of all time, but he's kind of canceled. I don't know how to handle it because he is paying his debt to society, right? Isn't he? He's yeah. paying his debt to society. He's paying his debt. But every now and then, I think most of us at like R&B, every now and then we'll catch ourselves bobbing the little R. Kelly, even though we're not, not allowed to. Right. I don't know. How do we handle R. Kelly? That you're a grown ass man. You can listen to R. Kelly if you want to. It's your playlist. I can't do it. He's not on any of my playlists. It's weird. You can't. You 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 got rid of him. You couldn't do it. I feel dirty. Not as dirty as the women he pissed on. Jesus. Now them, I can see them not listening to him. But he's paying his debt to society. All right. Right. I sure. Have Isn't you, he? Have you seen a Mel Gibson movie in the last five or six or seven years? What's Mel? What's, what is Mel supposed to be counted for? He's he anti-Semitic. He hate, right? hates the Jews. Yeah. He's anti-Semitic. Yeah, right? doesn't believe in the Holocaust. Does he really? Is blown. he really like? Is he really racist toward Jews? Like that's oh, yeah. real. It's, it's real. Yeah, that's it's not on the like, record. His uh, his defense was I was drunk, <laughs> but I mean, there's multiple occasions of it. Wow. But that doesn't mean you won't go see a Mel Gibson movie or or, or when someone does something. The bad, last you're Mel out. Gibson movie I saw was Passion of the Christ. Oh, okay. That was before. And, the, shit and weren't out. the Jewish community mad at him for that? I don't because know. That, picked, that's when it all happened. It was yeah, during they, that during they, the they, filming. They, yeah, that's yeah. when he went all because crazy. Because he depicted them as, you know, mm -hmm. they killed Jesus or yeah. whatever. He is a raging. I don't drunk. know. I don't know religion well enough yeah. to discuss it. But the point is, yeah, you bet your ass we can play some R. Kelly or, or sing some. Why not? I don't want people up. No, I don't want to do that. Okay. Well. Okay. But no Kells. Point stands. Nineties. Okay. Nineties R B. Point stands. Wins every I do time. Whips. SWV TLC. Okay. Salt and pepper. SWV is All underrated. Big time. Underrated. I love SWV. Yeah. Sisters with voices. I love that band. Okay. Sisters. Uh, is, that sisters. What that, is that what that means? Not sister. <laughs> Never knew. <laughs> I know, whatever. LG. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> no, you for real? No, I didn't know what it meant. Well, LG, you the one of the best. D I love when you he's DJ. a tribe called Quest. But man. yeah, but no, he's like I love LG's taste in music. Yeah, he likes old school '90s thinking man's rap, and he likes jazz and old so school crooners from the '50s. Let's talk about. He jazz. has a weird eclectic music. Does anybody taste. really like jazz? I do. Or is it just, or is it, does. or is it just so you can look cool? I like jazzy-ish stuff on mm -hmm. occasion, but not. I don't can't. I don't let, sit around listening to John Coltrane. No, or Dizzy Gillespie all day. I don't know oh, that. Dizzy's great. I know. And I don't, I'm not saying he's not. It's not my cup of tea. Coltrane's a little advanced for jazz. Most people, he's a little advanced. Wynton Marcellus picking up. I love him. Again, yeah. I, don't, I don't have any of that in my phone, but I appreciate that it's they're the masters of what they do. Right. Just like ballet. I, I don't like ballet. I don't like the symphony. I'm never going to see a ballet. But those are real musicians at the symphony. Those are real musicians. I, I'm not going to, I don't I'm, I hate on people's talent, but no, well, as far as music, I'm down with everything. Yeah, but jazz. Mm. But I don't mind like listening to rap. It's got jazz beats behind, like Tribe Called Quest has a lot of jazzy that's, shit. Yeah, in their that's stuff. fair. Yeah, but see, I'm talking about jazz. Jazz. I'm talking about you know Miles. You know, no, like, I'm talking no. about jazz. No, I don't know. Speaking of jazz, uh, our boy Gene, the official jazz musician, is up in here. What's Shout up, out to Gene. Gene. What up, Gene? Hey, Gene? on his life's work. <laughs> I so, know, right? Yo, Gene, we we owe you like. Uh, <laughs> Damn, Fogo the Child we Mill do, or something. Man. We owe Gene big Gene's time. Gene's over there working on his master's degree in jazz. Yeah, Gene is a professor at University of Texas. Is he? Yeah, yeah. he's a professor. Like, he yeah. teaches jazz. Yeah, he's, yeah. A, he's, and like, he's a genius musician. He, he fucking toured with Prince. Mm -hmm. You don't get, like, Prince is one of the most particular, meticulous artists of our ever. Like, you don't get to just tour with Prince. Mm -hmm. You're chosen. Yeah. Like, like you, you were be, chosen by Love You, you Hard. Yeah, you got to be the guy mm -hmm. to get to tour with Prince. When did Gene play with... Gene's our guy who's been sending us music. He's right. Big Thunder Dumber, and he's got a relation to Rudy, too. He's my... Yeah, he's okay. family. Yeah, he's family. He has toured with Prince. He's so good, as you mentioned. Do you know when that was? Gene, when, did you, when, was, when 90s, were you working with him? 80, 90s? I don't doctoral. know. Doctoral. Gene's in there correcting Yeah, he's in the doctoral. He's not he passed PhD. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Dr. Sentinel. Virtuoso. Yeah. When did you tr when did you play with Prince? I, don't I may know. have seen I've, I saw Prince play twice in my life. Wow. Yeah. Um, that's that's I, big. When did you play with Prince Gene? I may have seen Gene. If he was playing shows, like live shows, yeah, no, like in the back. Tour. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've probably seen Gene. I'm sure you have. Mm -hmm, for yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, let one Gene tell me what the year was and I'll tell you when it was. All right. By the way, that uh, intro that yep. you heard was with, Gene. Yep. And the, like and the return of Big Balls Pat. If you What's didn't notice, balls, Pat? I noticed that. Play the intro again for Yeah, let's play the intro. Uh, Can you do it? It's yeah, almost 12. Yeah, here we go. It? Oh, it's Here we go. Ready? Damn, it's already been an hour. You, it's real quick, you see. 
We're going to reset, right? Yeah, go now. ahead. Let's do go it. Go ahead. Live from San Antonio, Texas, this is In the Building with Mike Taylor and Rudy J. Wow. It was 06 to 09. Okay. Just, yeah, I saw Prince in 06 in Dallas. Mm-hmm. So you saw At the Gene. Starplex yeah. Amphitheater that doesn't exist anymore. How about that voice there, Big Balls Pat? That's that's the legend. That's him. That's the guy that created my original um, intro at Ticket 760. It was his idea to roll with the only thing we have to fear is Mike, Mike Taylor, Taylor. cult of personality. That was his idea. Man. It was Pat's idea. He created the tune. The, it was his idea. He, he wrote it. He, he voiced it. And he's back within the building. How about that, man? Thank you, Pat. Thank My, you, Gene. And to hear that voice say our names together. Oh. That was awesome. <laughs> Don't get all mushy on me. All right, we've been on here an hour. Let's go ahead and address the fucking hair. What do you what think? What are we talking about? My hair. And oh, his, his yeah. hair is worse. So do you got to take the headphones off to that. let the people okay, really see the shit. mullet. You is that real, a good view? Mike Mine Van view Gundy. here? I think you kind of cheated a little, Mike. You cheated no, the people the, a little. You didn't, the, that's uh, not, you didn't go agree. full. Right? I agree. He didn't go full. I, it needed look, to Mike, be, it didn't if we need gonna to be, be more family, a, back. I got to be able okay. to call you out. That's I think fine. you kind of cheated on the mullet, dog. I, I, I got what the dude did. It needed to be more. The, it needed to be higher <laughs> up and shaved back further. Yeah, but it needs to be yeah. farther back, bro. Yeah. You think so? I so think how so, did this yeah. come about? I said when we get to 3,000 subscribers right. that I would get a mullet and LG would spend a week in the Edgar, the Marbach mop. And now we got to 3,000. he's full Marbach mop. He's full Yeah, Edgar. look at that. In the back is what... Okay, we have video of this. Yeah, yeah. let's run All right, because we need to be able to see that. All right, if y'all haven't seen this, this is me and LG the other day getting these fucking haircuts that I can't wait to get rid of on in the building. We're over the top barber shop on Culebra just inside 1604. I'm about to get the mullet. Because we got the 3,000 subscribers, and I said if we got the 3,000 subscribers, I'd get a mullet. LG's getting the Edgar, which is way cooler. But I, think, I figure the mullet fits my Fort Worth half white boy redneckness. Yeah. There she is. There she is. Let's see, uh, can you get that back for me? There we go. See, crema cut? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna keep this. I love this. I feel like a badass. All right. Thank it over the top. Over the top barber. Yeah. A little Rob Bass in the background. Yeah. See, well, so at least you paid your. It's bet. already growing in. That's the reason it doesn't that's look what as it full. Is. Today. Okay. I'm getting it cut Wednesday. This was last week. Yeah. How did you? How did your lady take it? Hates it. She hates it. I think she said, I would rather have paper cuts on my corneas than to have sex with you right now. Damn. So we got to get to Wednesday. Yeah. Yep. You want to check that back? I got to shave the rest. Woo. So I'm, It's going to be short, dude. Oh, look at that. Here we go. Look at that. Wait, wait, pull it up some. Let me see the ace better. Pull the back hair up. Here, do it again. There you go. Look at that. Look at that ace. That's <laughs> spade. Dope. A spade. A spade. That's dope. Well, it was I appreciate like Kim Jong-il. I appreciate y'all's <laughs> paying y'all's debt. Yeah, man. And I'm, I'm sorry that our first show together is these haircuts. So what are we going to do? They'll be for, memorable. So what are we going to do for 5000 yeah, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm bald. Oh, shit. I'm bald. So I'm the, uh, y'all needed a bald black man on this show. Would you do a George Jefferson bit? Let it grow out on the side and back? That would Bro, take that'd be so that'd, awesome. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? That would take way too long. What do you... What are you trying to say, dog? Well, well, on the sides, my shit grows. No, I'm like, just saying. Well, like, I'm what, already kind of You'd have to you start see? now. Okay. You see what I'm saying? I'm already got the George, if you can see. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I need yeah, a hair, yeah. you see, but it would have to. No, you'd have to shave all the top clean and leave all oh, the side to have the true George Jefferson. If we get Jefferson. to 5,000, I'll do the George. <laughs> if we do five. It doesn't have to be haircuts either. We can do other bits. If you, no. if we, When we get to 5,000, if you really do do the George, I'll get a goddamn mohawk. I'm not kidding. Like Patrick Mahomes? Yeah. Like a Mahomes mohawk. You already not getting none with the mullet. What's going to happen at the mohawk? But she also understands the need for, for papita, for, and we need money. So subscribers yeah. equal money. Yeah. So sure. we get to 5,000, so we're we're over 3,000. We get When we get to five, let's talk I'll mohawks. Go, yeah, I'll go George Jefferson. We'll five Hell thousand. yeah. I'll you go, go mohawk? 
Sure. At a baby. Yeah, I can't do a mohawk. Some balls. I got to have some, some balls on top. about you. All right, we got a we got a daily segment. You brought up Orlando Kell a minute ago. What up, Orlando? Orlando's the official family lawyer of this show. Thank you to the great Orlando Kell, the law office of. So Orlando, he is who brought us the Cowboys overreact show all season long. Obviously, the Cowboys are no longer playing. Yeah. And so we can't do shows anymore after games. Uh, we could do a Super Bowl post game. I'm down with doing something like that. Oh, well, let me think about that. We got plans for Super Bowl. We got Bowl. plans for Super yeah, okay. Bowl oh, already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we, we we working. You'll learn we have a lot of production meetings live on the show. Okay. Because we, we just, I like know, it happens. We don't I like that. I'm fine with it. Uh, but so Orlando is also the proprietor of People I Want to Punch Wednesday. So we're changing something. I guess this, this is part of the evolving but not forgetting where you came from. Okay. Starting this new show. So we are getting rid of people I want to punch Wednesday. But we're going to do a punch of the day. Okay. I just feel like that's people I want to punch is such an iconic segment. Um, and with Orlando being our supporter of that segment, but the Cowboys now show being over, I don't want Orlando. I want, I want to take Orlando's partnership and allocate it somewhere where he's getting his return. Because if you partner up with us, we want you to get your return or you should fire us as a client, period. Amen. So what I have proposed, and Orlando's down with it, is we do a daily punch of the day. Not All the right. whole show. No, no, no. But just if you have anybody each day, each day, the punch of the day is brought to you by the law office of Orlando Kill. Orlando specializes in family law, so like divorce. Oof. Uh, yeah. So if you are, have you been, if you've been served, or you're about to serve your old lady, or you've already been divorced, but you need a change in your decree. Maybe someone's got a new job. We need to change child support or visitation. You want to get something changed? Orlando handles post-divorce, too. Uh, hit him up. It is 210-775-4995. Or you can email him. That's the easiest thing to do. It's orlandokellaw at gmail.com. Our official family lawyer is orlandokellaw at gmail.com. So uh, I want to punch myself for getting this gotcha-ass haircut. But I want a butt. It's done in love because it, it's 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 the product of going to three thousand subscribers. I also want to punch, and I guess I'll mix in some sports on this first show. I want to punch Dak Prescott for holding the Cowboys hostage. <gasps> um, punch Dak for letting me down. I have been a huge Dak supporter over the years. I don't know how much you've Look supported Dak over the years. Who me? Yeah, you. I have been a huge. Uh, fan I'm, of I'm his. hot and cold. I'm okay, hot and cold yeah, with Dak, like him. Let me look um, Dak's numbers up from I last was a Go ahead. Huge defender of Dak Prescott mm-hmm. for years. And I and I'm not gonna say I was wrong all those years. I just think because I think he's very talented. I think he's got more skill than he's ever had. However, this season, I realized that he is he's this weird unique player this, and he fits their organization perfectly because they're 12 wins a year and get dumped in the postseason that's Dak that's him in a nutshell that's his legacy it's going to be that unless he somehow pulls the Super Bowl out of his ass between now and the time he retires I just don't see it happening so I got mad at Dak after the Eagles game the first Eagles game when they played in Philadelphia I didn't think he was good enough down the stretch. He stepped out of bounds trying to tie the goddamn game. I remember you time. said a, you you let off a Molotov cocktail on Twitter. That I was night. pissed. I remember. Yeah, a lot of people thought told me I was an idiot. None of them told me that the other day when he sucked ass against the uh, against the Packers. Did he suck though? He sucked ass against the Packers. He had four hundred yards, Mike. Yeah, he had four hundred three hundred fifty of it when they were down by thirty five points in the fourth quarter. It's called junk stats. He didn't do shit for three quarters. But he just, but he also, it wasn't just that. He didn't do shit again in Philly. He didn't do shit in San Francisco. He didn't do shit in Buffalo. When they play the good teams, he's mediocre. And I love the man. I'm a huge fan of his, but it is time you to. You let him watch your daughters. Like, hey, yeah, you come by, you can have dinner, but you don't want him to be your quarterback. No, not anymore. It's time for them to find the new, the next guy. Now it may take two or three years, and I, I, it's, it is what it is. I'm, I'm resigned. You want Trey Lance? You want Cooper Rush? Like, what's the no, again? If we want him out, so. what's the alternative? I don't know, but they've got to start looking for it. It's time for them to start. Isn't looking that what for they did with Trey Lance? Fourth round pick? No, maybe. Uh, is there maybe. anything? Is I mean, keep in mind, San Francisco gave up on this dude for a guy that was Mister Relevant. Well, I don't know the name. I just know that he's not the guy. Dak's not going to win the championship for you. I don't is that, believe is that. Is that on Dak or is that on Mike? <clears throat> Who, since we've been gone, since you've been gone, since uh-huh. I've been gone, uh-huh. has been retained as the Cowboys head coach. Yep. 
Not giving any type of extension, but who is it on? Why are we all It's on all of them to okay, an extent. Okay, okay, cool. I'm just making sure we spread the blame out evenly. Right. It's well, not all on Dak. No, I agree, but Mike's salary is not against the salary cap. Dak's mm. is. The $59 million they owe him this season, that is on their, that's on their cap. Right. Um, I know what they should do. I don't know if they will. I don't know if they can. We'll see. He may not be willing to, but he went from young, raw, Callow and inexperienced um, kid with a ton of talent. And I just kept saying, just you wait, just you wait, you'll figure it out. You know, he's got shitty coaching. Get rid of Kellen Moore. He needs he needs a better wide receiver. Right. Oh, you traded Amari Cooper. Oh, cool, you brought him in. Oh, now your defense is good. I just don't think he he is never going to make championship plays in big time games. I don't trust him anymore. It's two and five in the playoffs. He's that's tied for the worst playoff record. For anybody who's ever played the position that's played in that many playoff games. And it's not on him, but he's the one that's 59 million. I well, I don't I'm not saying McCarthy's the guy. I'm not saying Dan Quinn's the guy, but I'm also saying Dak is also not the guy either. They got a Dan whole bunch of I don't not think the Dan's guys. getting enough blame. Dan's no. defense, Dan's defense was shitty down I agree. the stretch. I'm talking about shitty. Like I'm telling you, even in the Detroit game, even though they won that game, mm-hmm. speaking of the Cowboys, defense let them come right down the field. Mm-hmm. And for what to let Jordan Love come into your crib and drop a 50-burger. Well, it's 48, but still, drop a 50-burger. Well and then Dan's getting interviewed. I, I feel like Dan was a better option last year to be a head coach somewhere than coming off of this season that he had this season. Now, keep in mind, Dan Quinn is the infamous 28-3 to head coach, was leading a Super Bowl 28-3 to and lost. So I mean, again, I we we I think we've kind of overrated Dan because he's had such. I mean, you have Michael Parsons, then you have Deron Bland and uh, T- you know Trayvon Diggs, who have twenty five picks between each other in the last couple of years. I don't know if Dan Quinn is really that dude. We're um, talking a lot about Dak and a lot about McCarthy, yeah. but Dan Quinn's defense with a guy like a Michael Parsons, like you couldn't figure out how to get him hold. Whatever the hell the case was, your defense failed you. Failed you. That was shocking. So I don't understand how he's getting four or five interviews. What are we basing these interviews on? I have no idea. Well, he I mean he has won a title as a defensive coordinator when in Seattle. Uh, he coached the Falcons to the Super Bowl, so true. he's at least That's done true. that. You're right. You're and, right and about I'm, that. And yeah, I'm, Kyle Shanahan. Though. I'm usually blame players first. Right? Players that's fair. make coaches great. Yeah, that's fair. Coaches can certainly screw teams up for sure. But we talking about the Cowboys here, which is the ultimate enigma because of the horrible culture that they have and the philosophies that they, they have. And it starts at the top. Of course, we know that, but we can't get rid yeah, well, of them. I don't, it's, it's, it's futile. A, yeah, who, why are we even so spending while, time talking about Jerry? Yeah, right. Right. So while MacArthur may not be the answer, you tell me who's going to come in there and all of a sudden everything changes with the culture. They That's don't what have I'm saying. You, I don't the, know who – If you were, I know people want Mike McCarthy fired – Okay, what's the, who's the replacement? Right. Who are we who talking is it about? Going to be who's going to be the difference? It's going to, I don't oh, know. Okay, now, now they're going to get it right. I don't know. Are they? Is that guy going to come in here and change the culture the way Dan Campbell, Glenn Rose's own, changed the Campbell the, the culture in Detroit? The Lions have now surpassed the Cowboys and gone to the championship game of a conference. The Cowboys are out there on an island all you by really themselves. Really feel like the Lions? Did the Lions pass the Cowboys or get a better path? An easier path. They had the Rams and the Bucks. Mm-hmm. It's an easier path, isn't it? Well, let, let's. I bet. You, I bet you they give the 49ers hell on Sunday. Who? The Lions? Yeah, you think they're going to blow the Lions out? I think Detroit's going to give them hell. I I'm, think Jared Goff. I'm not, cra- I'm, not cra- I'm not crazy about the Lions' defense. Really? I'm not crazy about it. Well, now, if Debo can't play, then it's all bets off. And I think that's a big reason why the 49ers struggled. As we saw earlier this year, when he missed three games, they lost three in a row. Right. When Debo's out, they're a different team. So now Debo, this shoulder thing, mm-hmm. according to Kyle Shanahan, the last time he had the same injury, missed two games. So if he doesn't play, yeah, Jared Goff might be headed to his second Super Bowl. With a second team. Think about that. I know. And by the way, Goff's been fantastic. I don't trust him. I think he'll probably make a mistake or two this week against San Francisco. Everybody does. Um, but golf's been terrific. I just think that Cowboy players have it different. I'm not making excuse. To have it different in what way? The attention they get. 
oh, yeah. Hell yeah. the bullshit that Hell Jerry yeah. Jones Hell endures. Yeah. And I yeah. think it messes up their room. I think that's why it's like, well, I don't think Dak's the guy. You got to keep swinging. You got to put keep bringing people in. But until they get over this cultural issue they've had for 30 years, it doesn't matter really who is at the helm. No. I don't know what's what it's going to take. Luck. And you talk about the path. There's, I mean, the Cowboys, they get, beat they, the Cowboys just to beat. got beat 48. To, it really was 48 to 16 in the fourth quarter, man. I, I, that's that's coaching. That's shitty. That's shitty culture. That's showing up thinking, oh, we got this. We're playing the Packers. That's, coaching. that's bullshit. Well, they could have hired On Dan that Campbell. Level? They could have hired Dan Campbell. They hired Mike McCarthy. Yeah, but I, that's but, hindsight 2020, right? right? Well, yeah. Well, I know. So uh, McCarthy returns. He's a lame duck. They announced it's already gotten out. He's not going to get an extension, which teams almost never do, except Dallas. They, used, they let Garrett three years in a row coach without a fucking does contract. Does your team play for a guy that is a lame duck? Like, like if like if shit goes bad early mm-hmm. on, because they're gonna have a tougher, they're gonna have a, a tough schedule next. Yeah, season. yeah, yeah. If shit gets bad early on, don't they mail it in? Like I've never seen a coach really, other than movie major league, play for a coach that everybody knows is a walking dead man. So I don't know. Again, I like Mike McCarthy. I think he can coach. I mean, you don't 12 win three years in a row. But I think you already mailed in the season when you bring him back and you say, oh, well, it's not going to with no extension. If that's the case, then just get rid of him. Why do him like this? Especially look how they did him at the end of the season. They I quit agree. on him in Green Bay. Yep, they did. Against his former team. What I was wrong, Mike's a good coach. He's won a championship, for fuck's sake. He's not like he yeah, can't Aaron coach. Rogers, They've won 12 games in a row three years in a row. Right. You can't just do that and suck. You right. and I can't go in there and do that. No. However, I just thought that, and I hate these miscellaneous terms like culture and shit, because you, football should be won because you have more talent than the other team does, and you got lucky and were healthy. But with the Cowboys, it's all this extra shit. It's all this overhype that they buy into too often. Right. I just thought that – I thought McCarthy – was different. I thought he was kind of changing the culture, and I thought with and I think Dax usually been a great leader too. With Dax leadership, McCarthy's leadership, you're bringing in veterans, right. you're know, bringing in Gilmore, and you're bringing in Brandon Cooks. Derry can be silly, and he can be the crazy weirdo and the reality show. But we're here in this locker room. We're about business, right? We ain't about bullshit. There ain't no way they should have been down forty eight to sixteen. Never. No. Not with that team. That's more than just what well, we had a bad Lamb day. And Micah Parsons, had a bad day. Offensive line. I was wrong shit. about McCarthy. I, I I thought that he'd toughen them up, and they were they're as soft as they've ever been. Once again, man, they they're trying to fit. Would you have liked Belichick? No, I don't, don't work. I, I don't think so. You don't He's think too that old. works? No. God forbid you bring in someone young who's innovative, who's you know about the future like and LaFleur, not what he's done. Yeah. Kyle Shanahan. Yeah. Sean McVay. Right. But Dan then you Campbell, also got to bring somebody in that's willing to put up with Jerry. You think Bill Belichick wants to work for Jerry Jones? I think so. I think so. I mean, I think you keep in mind, uh, Jerry's grown as well. Like, you know how we have Jerry's he grown has, as well. But He's not grown. enough. Not enough. How do you explain 48? It's 48 I to 16. I don't, I don't know what else Jerry can do. He's, give, he's giving you everything you need. You have great defensive players, you have great offensive players. Jerry's done his part. Like I know, it's, I think Jerry's like low hanging fruit. I think it's easy to point him, and I'm saying that's what you're doing. But we always say, well, it's Jerry. What did he kept? Well, he probably kept Zeke too long. Well, he's running it back with fucking Dak and McCarthy. You see what he's I'm doing saying? That like, wrong. He, I'm, I'm giving you these guys can play. You don't think Dak Prescott succeeds in San Francisco? Man, I don't know. Yes, he I does. think he makes. I think he makes throws that Brock Purdy doesn't make in winning time. Ooh. I think he throws a pick six for the playoff game on the line. So Dak Prescott and he Brock Purdy down. flip-flop. Dak's not in the NFC Championship game? I don't I think, think so. I think he is. I think, Kyle Sh- I think that highly of Kyle Shanahan. I don't know that Kyle Shanahan takes a chance on Dak. I don't think Dak's ever Kyle Shanahan's QB. And you bring up the 49ers. This is what the Cowboys need to do. Culture, can, Mike. It's culture. We can debate about Dak all day long. Yeah. Um, the thing is, what the Cowboys don't do, and this is on Will McClay, too, who I love, they don't stock the most important position in all of pro sports on earth. The San Francisco 49ers, they, they, they go through Kaepernick. That whole fiasco goes down, so they bring in Jimmy Garoppolo. Well, 
Okay, we're still going to bring in Sam Darnold. And oh, by the way, we're still going to draft Trey Lance. And just for the fuck of it, let's take a flyer on this kid out of Iowa State, Brock Purdy. They never stop stacking that position. It's because they're trying to win. It's about business. They're not about feelings. The Packers. Favre's in his prime. They draft Aaron Rodgers. And Aaron Rodgers is in his prime. They draft Jordan Love. And if Rodgers gets, oh, if his feelings get hurt, fuck him. We'll trade him. They traded him to the shitty Jets. And what did the Packers do? They won a playoff game. How they, they look pretty good right now. Baltimore, Joe Flacco still there. What do they do? Bring in Lamar Jackson. These teams that don't fuck around with the most important position in the in the world, when if the guy doesn't work out, they got somebody else, or they figure out they figure out an escape route. The right. Eagles, now, Dak is Jerry's guy. I know that's, that, that's the thing. We're getting loyal to these fourth round right. picks when he's maxed, he's climaxed out. So here, I have another more examples. I mean, the Eagles, they've got Carson Wentz. Ah, it gets going south. Fuck you. We're, we're going to win a title with Nick Foles, but. And then Jer- Jordan Jerry Jalen. Then Jerry, they went and drafted Jalen Hurts yeah, in the second Jerry round. Jerry would have right. given Foles an extension. He won a Super Bowl. Let's give him 10 years, $100 million. He would have paid him. But no, they know what Foles can do and what he can't do. They yeah. got all they could get out of him. They won the title. They still draft Jalen Hurts. It's just the, the Chiefs, they have Alex Smith. Alex Smith, he's, he's a playing good quarterback. Great. Yeah, he's playing Goes to the Pro Bowl. We lose every year in the first round. Mm-hmm. We're going to draft another quarterback. They, they're not afraid to hurt the starters' feelings. If I'm the Cowboys, I extend Dak Prescott's contract. You okay. cannot go into the season. Well, right. you, you can. It's possible. Right. But ideally, you don't want to pay him $59 million next year. I would give him an extension. Three years. Move some of that money. And then immediately start trying to replace him. And if he and bring in other guys. You're just extending him for, for salary cap reasons, not because he's the guy. He can, just because he's on the roster doesn't mean he has to start. Shit, I would Mike, if I'm giving you fifty job. million dollars, you starting. I'm not gonna pay fifty million dollars to be a what backup. What are the Packers bro. playing paying Aaron Rodgers right now? They still owe 50, him some salary. 50 Whatever it is, something million. Man, I, I'm not. Dak should probably still be the starter, but you have got to start. You just have to stack the position. There should never be a year where oh we don't need to worry about quarterback. Yeah, you do. Always, we're going to add, how many, when will the NFL go to an 18th game to even out the schedule? Probably pretty soon. We're going to add even well, more add games. A, they better add a bye week if they do that. Yeah, but, now, they, they but again, Dak you is have always. got to stack that position. His, he's better when the running game's legit. Tony, we thought Tony Pollard was just going to come off this broken leg and just be the Tony Pollard that was Zeke's backup. And that wasn't the case. Tony Pollard was shit this year. I don't know if that's the run blocking or whatever, but Dak is always better when the run game is on point. And there's a lot of quarterbacks like that. There's probably about 10 good quarterbacks. Then there's good seven that are average, and then there's the rest suck, 15 of them that just flat out suck. Dak is in that average. He's in that mediocre range where he has everything has to be going perfect. Yeah. But, and Can't we play all from know, behind. We all know that. So if we know he's at his ceiling – and he's doing what he can with what he's God's giving him. What what are we complaining about? This is who he is. Correct, which is why it's time to start replacing him. It may take two years, but that time needs to start. The process of finding the next guy needs to begin now. I think that's fair. And ironically, I, I think it's, it starts it, it by has. extending him. So is it is it an open quarterback competition? Is Trey or the, is Mike McCarthy going to make it an open quarterback competition? It should when they always be an open quarterback competition. It should. But will it? I, mean, well, now, well, now I don't this trust is, him. No. You're right. Now, this is when Jerry comes into play. Will mm-hmm. Jerry allow the coaching staff to say, I'm not naming a starter. We'll see how it goes in training camp. I don't think that'll happen. He did that with Romo. Romo, Romo was going to quarterback until the wheels fell off. They took a flyer on Dak in the fourth round trying to find a backup to Romo, and it just worked out. They got so fucking lucky with Dak, and then Romo winds up getting hurt. And they they they're playing an under like Romo was undrafted. They let him play till he couldn't play anymore, and they got lucky with Dak. God knows what they would have done if they hadn't found Dak. Right. Where were the hell would this franchise even be without Dak? So I don't want to poo poo on him too much. Right. I appreciate Dak, but Romo had a ceiling. There's a reason why he was undrafted. There's a reason why Dak went to the fourth round. I mean, it, but it doesn't matter if Dak's won a championship, Rudy. He's 30 years old. He's 59 million dollars against your cap. No one gets a lifetime extension. At some point. In Kansas City, they're going to start thinking about what's next after Pat. They're not going to wait. That's until a ways Pat's away, but I feel done. I know what you mean. But that's a ways yeah, away. They're not going to just wait until he's done. They're going to take care of that position. They're going to put depth at that position. It's the most important position. You look at the league and look at all the teams that are still alive. What do they all have in common? Their quarterback didn't get hurt. 
Now, you are part of the reason why Dak's brother is talking shit on Twitter. Because he says, Tough th- tits. Th- hey, Prescott's Twitter brother world. says, look, my brother loves being here. Mm-hmm. But we're, he's like, we're sick of the fans. The fans really ain't shit. All y'all do is talk shit. All we do is all y- y'all, don't, y'all don't respect them. You don't appreciate him, mm-hmm. and maybe you'll appreciate him when he's gone. Now, Dak wants to be a Cowboy. There's nothing like being the quarterback of the Cowboys. I can't think of a better job in the world. But it's also the shittiest job in the world mm-hmm. when you lose in the playoffs. But his brother, he's tired of you and I and half the fan base. Because there is a good portion of the fan base that refuses to blame him for anything. You do know that, right? There's a good – and it's always been that way. It was that way with Romo. I was a Romo sexual. I never thought it was Romo's fault. I thought he had some shitty defense. I think Romo gets the teams that Dak has had. I'm standing on that. I think Romo gets the teams. Some of these teams that Dak has had, I think Romo gets at least to an NFC title. And that's hypoth- But I mean, who cares? We don't, I don't we'll know. never know. No. But T- Well, it's his brother. I mean, it's his kid brother. He's always talking shit. For sure. CD's mom's bitching on Twitter, too, this week. She said Dak ain't it. That's I, I tweeted the same. Me and his mom are on the same wavelength. Dak but ain't it. but <laughs> this, is, this is what I tell mom. And you speak to moms respectfully. Your son had his greatest season ever with Dak. Who was he? Wasn't throwing it to himself, Mama CD. Your best, your best season ever, CD. You're about to get. You're probably about to be the second, third highest paid receiver behind Devontae Adams and Tyreek Hill because Dak was throwing you the ball. So I don't know if Mama should have did that. But you can't tell Mama nothing. Mama's got her son's best interests. But at the same time, like you got to think about, like really think about this, Mama CD. 100 whatever receptions, 1,600 yards, 12, touch, whatever the hell it was. He had something crazy like that. Like, So how was Dak ain't it when you had a career year with Dak throwing you the ball? Because the season was one game. And fair or not, that's what Dak's judged on until he changes, until he does something about the 2-5 and five playoff record. He was bad in San Francisco in the playoff game. Yeah, he was. He was. Yes, the defense was shitty, but Dak was also bad. No one showed up ready to play. And, yeah, absolutely, McCarthy should probably get shit canned over that, even though I don't know who's going to replace him that's going to do any better. No. Uh, but Dak's a part of that. Can they Dak's have D'Amico? Been a part Can they get D'Amico? Oh, my God, I'd love that. Um, no, they Dak can't. Dak beat Tampa Bay, who was 8-9. and nine. He did. I think they beat. I think he beat the what Lions or some shit. Dak didn't play well in the Rams. No, I don't no he beat game. Seattle. He beat Seattle. Yeah, he yep. beat Seattle and he beat the Tampa Bay with Brady was fifty. It's a mate. The Cowboys are, and I said this on the post game the other day. The Cowboys are a unique story to any story in the world. There's in what no, way? There's no franchise in any league anywhere. Pro, pro Serie A, the Italian soccer league, whatever, right. Mexican chicken fighting. There's not another pro team in all of pro sports, not in this part of, not in this part of the world, that has the success that they do in the regular season and the record they have in the postseason. The Jekyll and the Hyde. No one matches it. Again, Dak's two and five. Damn. Only two quarterbacks have had worse records that many playoff games in the history of the league. The history of football suggests if you wind up quarterbacking in seven playoff games, you're probably pretty damn good or else you wouldn't be around to to quarterback in seven fucking games. But he loses them all. And it's not – look, had they – it was possible they lost Sunday to the Packers 31-28 and he played terrific and I'm leaving yeah. him alone, and I'm jumping on Dan Quinn and jumping on that overrated ass Micah Parsons. Shit, don't get me started. About, Boy. Don't get me started on Micah. Go ahead. Uh, but that's not the case. Dak was terrible. He threw two, two, two. terrible picks. Won the pick six. Should have had a three, and the guy dropped it in the end zone. Should have had three interceptions in the first half. He would have done that regardless of the defense. Yeah, at some point you just got to believe what you're seeing. At Man, some point you not, are who you he's are. He's not the guy. But again, I've seen a lot of guys that aren't the guy win titles. Dak is the guy. He's like Joe Flacco's year in Baltimore, Brad Johnson, Trent Dilfer. Rex Grossman got to a Super Bowl, for God's sake. Yeah, he did. You know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. like, there's certain quarterbacks where everything aligns and they get to where they need to go. Mm-hmm. Dak's that guy. Jared Goff. I don't think Jared Goff is some great. I don't think Jared Goff's John Elway. I think the stars aligned for him with the Rams. They mm-hmm. had a great he's offense. He's been good. Now, he's been serviceable. He just doesn't make the big mistakes. And I think he did the same thing this year. You know, you got a great Dak running back. He makes the big mistakes. Yeah, he makes the big mistakes sometimes. And But, again, the stars have to align for a guy like Dak. That's who he is. And if you're going to sign him to a long extension and make him, put him up there with Lamar mm-hmm. and, and Pat Mahomes, 
you have to know that in mm-hmm. Jerry Jones. Like, look, I have to be comfortable knowing that if I have to have Dak win it, mm-hmm. we're going to lose. Yeah. Simple that's as not that. who I want to roll with. I will until I ha- no, until you have. I'll, no I'll do that until, I, until I can replace for now. right now. But that's why you never stop looking. Even no, you shouldn't. No matter if you guys are a Hall of Famer. The, San, the 49ers could win the Super Bowl this year. Purdy with will get Mr. an extension. Irrelevant. But that does not mean that they're – that's it. We're not even going to think about quarterback for 10 years. That's silly and foolish. The Cowboys don't ever think about quarterback, not the starter. Once that's they have when one, Jerry's business side of things get – that's when the lines get, get blurred because Dak makes him a shit ton of money. That totes the company line. He's a great face of the franchise. Mm-hmm, sure. And that's when the line between football and business get blurred. He clears – after he's paid all the way down to the sanitation, he clears a billion. And the That's teams, a big part of the that. The teams that put that shit aside and don't worry about right. that, and you have to you have to manage your team ruthlessly. That's great. Dak's a great guy. Super cool dude. That's awesome. But it's a business. I would rather have an asshole that no one liked winning me championships like Aaron Rodgers did than have this cool guy here that everybody likes that throws for 3,500 yards and 49 touchdowns and get your ass kicked in the playoffs because he throws pick sixes. I can't win that way. I feel you. I mean, look, when you they've now won twelve games in a row, three seasons in a row. If they were four and twelve, or four and thirteen, okay, you're not even close to being a championship team. You look at it differently. But they are a good team. They right. are talented, and they do this miscellaneous bullshit like they do last week in the playoffs every year. Yeah. And that's I've seen enough. What's your thoughts on eleven? <sighs> What's your thoughts on Micah Parsons? I think he's small and he's out of position. And I think Dan Quinn needs to move him back to linebacker full of, you time. You think he's out of position? You don't he's like him small. at the end? He gets worn out. He gets he gets take. He put on weight this year because he's small and he never holds up. This is three years in a row now where he's been a cowboy where he disappears but he's in getting December, held, January. Mike. Well, he was getting held, but he when was. he wasn't, like legit. He that's legit. But he wasn't getting held every play, and he still put a goose egg up in the playoff game. No pressure. And didn't do much in December. I think he gets tired. I think he gets beaten up. And I think he, I think he's asked to do too much because he's so talented and versatile. Right. You want to you want to use that. If you have a tool like Micah Parsons, you want to put him anywhere. But and they're everywhere running possible. him into the ground, and by December he's toast. He's not better than Miles Garrett or either one of the Boses. He's not better than T.J. Watt. Think he's better than Max Crosby? No. And those guys are way bigger than him. Their bodies hold up to all that fucking punishment you take playing edge. I think he needs to go back to linebacker. And maybe you just get eight or nine sacks this year instead of fourteen. But you can make he can cover tight ends. Make, There's a lot more. There's a lot of things he can do. Fifty tackles. He could be Roy Williams. What he could be what Roy Williams could have been. He's not right. gotten fat and out of shape. Right. I fat. love Micah, but Micah's out of position. And I and I don't I don't I'm fine with all of the the podcasting and the tweets and all that shit because I'm a grown man. It don't bother me. That shouldn't have any, any impact on your locker room and how, whether you win games or not. My problem is guy guy the guy he disappears in 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 the in the last part of the season every year. Yeah. He doesn't hold up. Maybe he Can't does need to go back guy. to linebacker. I mean, that's what he was drafted as and then DeMarcus Lawrence got hurt and, you know, the Man, rest is history. It's the NFL. I mean, out, except for quarterback cuz you pay him so much. It's, a, it's unfortunate, but the way it's set up is you can't care about people, not as people. It's a, They're all just – No, Bill Belichick was the master at that because there, yeah. there were some cuts over you the years that Bill ruthless. Belichick – He wouldn't be your friend this way when he had to tell you you're done. It wasn't an issue. Right. You know, when Ty Law or, you know, Lawyer Malloy, these guys, like guys that were real patriots, mm-hmm. and Bill was like, hey, man, I need your playbook. Yeah, yeah. Without blinking. You know what I mean? Without blinking. And I think, that's, that's business. It is tough to work like I that, I got to cut you. I, it's tough like that, Like though. Billy Bean said, you rather – you rather have a bunch of paper cuts and bleed out, or you want one to the head? I take the one to the head. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, where they yeah, do. Lop it. my shit off. They're ruthless. Pause. It's not personal. It's straight business. Right. The NFL is set up where you have to be. You got all these different guys on your roster with a hard salary cap. You can't be anything other than ruthless with these people. You know, Dan Campbell's. Everybody loves him in that Detroit locker room, and that's important. That's great. And his mm-hmm. the culture he's instilled. In, but that franchise is different too. They've been dog shit for sixty years. They needed the culture that he's brought in. But here in a minute, give it a year or two. Oh, Amun Ra is going to want to get paid. Oh, yeah. Uh, you got to capitalize. The Alabama capitalize. running back is going to get paid. Yeah, you got to capitalize on Aiden your Hodges rookie is deals. Gonna, at some yeah. point, that's great that everyone right. thinks you're a cool guy and you're, right. you got muscles and you play too. But at some point, if the Lions are going to be sustainable, they have to be ruthless in how they handle their roster. Jerry Jones, ironically, Mr. Wildcatter, 
I'll do anything it takes to win. No. He doesn't do that. He gets caught in the fields. And he, he has his off. guys. He Zeke's has his my, guys. Zeke's my guy. He has his guys. I cried for two days when Dak, I had to fire Zeke. CD, Micah, mm-hmm. those guys, you're Cowboys for life. Yeah. All right, man. Look at all the look at all this today. I'm a, I can't well, go through half these, man. No, it's too many. It's this too is many. in I'm the building, to, y'all. I'm trying to read most of them, but I can't. There's too many. Uh, okay. The, the way the rule of thumb is, if you give us money, we automatically read what you post. Okay. So post something good. We appreciate you tipping us. You can tip us by joining the super chat, or you can go to buymeacoffee.com slash. Have we changed it to in the building, or is it Mike Taylor Live? Love you, Hard TV. That a baby. Love you, Hard TV. Okay. It's buymeacoffee.com slash love you, Hard TV. You can tip us through that. Tip. That's a great way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And And we've got a bunch of buy me a coffees here. For some reason, the thing's not popping up on the screen like it used to, but I'll give you these if you want. All right. Well, the Drew shows in here with a $5 offering. Rudy J is back. Corporate Rudy is dead. Jeez. Was I corporate Rudy? As no. The star? Was I? No. I no, 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 no. I was a little dackish. He almost I had to become a line. cowboy fan as a corporate Rudy J. Long live <laughs> corporate J, but I like this one better. Okay. Then what else? Just show one. I'm going to read all the people that gave us money, then I'll go through some of the others. Okay. Greg Costanella, thank you for your your, uh, your donation. Let's get it. The mojo is back. It's my energy certainly back, man. Same. Goat 4460, Rudy, this is your boy, HUD. HUD Always going to support my guy. What's up, HUD? Do you know I prank called the sports grind one time? Have I told you this? Have I, actually, have I come to you me. on this? I, you told me. I forgot who it was. You called like you were like a, some Alabama dude, right? What was it? No. I don't remember. But borderline I, racist because I, I tried to be like one of your people. Oh, yeah, that's not you good. You were bad-mouthing the Spurs one day. That's normal. Somebody's got to in this city. I think I prank called y'all twice now that I think about see? it. Oh, man. This is back in the you day. You see what I'm saying? Years and years ago. You see how ago. you do? You I would call in. I called in twice. You see how he does, LG? But you were asking us. Well, at that time, you were thinking that we had planet calls on you, so I get it. And I used a character, too. No, this was years after that, and by the way. you tried to act like a being, black dude? I was just being an asshole. Jesus, yeah. my. Well, I had to get through your call screen. I remember you told me. I had to get me, through Salami's uh, call screen. Yeah, Salami would answer the phone. Hi, this is Chip on the door so I don't want to talk to the guys. I didn't think Salami would let that guy no, on. No, he wouldn't have let you on. What's up, man? I got to talk to Rudy or something like that. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> but I, I used a high voice. It was like, what's up, Calvin? Yeah. And Calvin's like, hey. I go, Rudy. And you go, what? I go, man. And you're like, what? Talk to me. Because you were talking about, about the Spurs. Yeah. And my character told you he was worried about you because someone was going to cut you if they saw you on the street. I remember talking bad about the Spurs. Somebody go cut your ass. Yeah, I remember, remember that. And I think I, I think I that said, me. and I think I said something <laughs> along the lines of like, "Well, you know, this is Texas, you know, and I, I, I stay strapped even though I don't." <laughs> You know what I mean? You did say that. I did. I was Bring like, it, I think, I'm packing. Yeah, I was like, yeah. I stay strapped. I'm like, I don't. I'm not a big gun guy, but yeah. Midtown I Texas. Now. Thank you for your dollar ninety nine. Hey, they all add up. If if one thousand people give us a dollar a day, boom. That's all. I mean, that sound like five grand a week to me. Come on, you cough up a bucket, cheap bastard. Greg Costanuela, one ninety nine. LG Mike Taylor, Rudy J, San Antonio Dream Team. You ain't even have to twerk for this money. Uh uh-uh, uh I will though. You ain't got no ass, Mike. But I will if it gets me paid. Does LG got an ass? I got no, ass. No, God, no. I used to have a bigger no, ass. No. I lost it. Our ass quotient just went way up. Yeah, I don't got much like, ass. But. OG, two ninety nine. Thank you, man. Just Some people just want to give us money. They don't even have a comment. Well, Chad Reed, welcome to Tier 1. What's Tier 1 membership status, LG? That's the basic membership. Okay, welcome. Yeah, okay, we got new members in here. $6 a month, some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, we got new subscribers, too, which is free. Welcome. Subscribe is free. Welcome to Goat4460. Homer Zapata. Orale. Welcome in here. That's my guy. What up, Homer? Homer. That's my guy. See, we got, see, this is carryover. Speaking of Homer, Homer, we need that Culligan. We need Culligans to get in here, Homer. Make it happen. We do. He's a big wig at Culligans. Oh, really? He's a big wig at Culligans. I need him. But he's oh, a okay. UT. He's a diehard UT fan. His daughter right. goes there. So Is that the gets, water company? Speaking of the UT, Orlando told me that to keep you in line about the kill. The, yeah, he told me to keep oh, you in line about the horns. All the horns said, think you, I hate them. You do. The Aggies think I hate them, You too. do. I don't respect them. Jesus, Although, what that's, this year? Bro, that's worse. It's different. I don't hate them. I don't respect them. I think that's worse. I'd rather you, program, I'd rather you hate me. You can hate me. I don't mind you hate me. But if you don't respect me, then that's weird. 
It's worse. It's worse. It's much worse. And what have they done in the last 15 years to earn anybody's respect? Nothing. But be the Cowboys of college football. That's what they are. And this year they got over the hump. Went to the semifinals because of my guy Sark, who I support, and Quinn Ewers, who I support, and Arch Manning's coming, who I support. Uh, speaking of, there's an, there's an example there, college football. You really you can't be worried about no quarterback. No. You always replace it. They get mad and transfer, too bad. Right. This is the SEC now. Right. I gotta have four. I gotta have four or five star quarterbacks, and two of them getting ready to go into the portal because they ain't playing. That's how it has to be at all times. Yeah, the NFL's getting there though, hmm. but adding on games and shit, and is everybody getting hurt? Anyway, I don't. I don't hate UT. I don't respect UT. And you're a horn frog. Yeah, but I can respect you. I respect Jeff Trailer at UTSA. Shout out to Coach Trailer. Love him. Now get him on. He loves us. Yeah, he does. The mayor of sports. Thank you, Martin. The golden voice is there. You still going by mayor? Yeah, yeah. It, they'll never die. It'll never it's die. It's just been the way it is. I'm not going to read that real ugly ones. Damn, about our past, about your past boyfriends, your past partners and no, stuff. Yeah, no, yeah, we'll leave those alone. No, it's been, honestly, since we announced last week, it's been 99.9%. Nothing but love. Yeah, I've gotten a few. I'm almost worried that it's too much love. Yeah, I need me too. some more hate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I've gotten a little bit of hate. I've gotten a little bit of hate. But again, I'm never Don't worry. Gonna... Wait till your people that don't know me listen to me a couple of days. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm like mad. the tobacco companies. Uh, no one likes cigarettes the first time they smoke them. Or dip or but whatever. But then all of a sudden they wake up Cigar. and they can't stop smoking. Right. That's me. I like I'm it. like the tobacco I like the analogy. Company. Especially if you get these people in here while they're young. If I can turn you into a Thunderdomer at 18, I got you. Get you addicted. You got quick. some eighteen-year-olds listening to this show. We, um, you'd be shocked. I get younger people more than I. We, and I'm not saying it's the majority or even fifty no. percent. Right. We get a healthy, decent number, especially since we went digital only. These kids aren't listening to old school no, radio. My, I can't remember the last time my daughters watched live television or t or radio, especially not radio. They don't even watch live TV. No, yeah. God, no. my 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 teenager watches all Netflix and YouTube. Yeah, and That's, they don't listen to radio live either. No, even in the morning drive and the afternoon drive, people are still listening to podcast more and more and more and more. Right, and even people our age are now starting to finally listen to podcast yeah. exclusively. Maybe How we should often, do some crime stories. Those are pretty. Popular. Oh, I know. Oh, we will on this show. You want to do show, some? We oh, should do dude, some crime. This is our channel. This show. Obviously, we talked a lot of cowboys today. For, right, thing, I mean, we had to. We yeah, had to get all that shit off our chest. Yeah, and we're two dudes, and we like football, so we're going to talk sports. But I want our show to be a platform for you to talk about anything you want on this planet. I don't give yeah. a shit what it is. I mean, I, this is a. I'm, I like you. We're, we're friends, but this is a business. It's a for profit entity. Whatever. I'm for whatever <laughs> brings profit to the entity. Amen. That's what I'm for, Greg. Amen. Let's get it. The mojo is back. Thank you, Greg, for your dollar ninety nine. Hell yeah, Rudy J sounds like Bun B, but from San Antonio. Trill Burgers. We got to hear that rapping you mentioned. Not no, we're today. not doing that. Oh, yeah, we're not doing that. We'll see. I don't know. We'll we'll think about it. I got to get LG's approval. LG's the rap historian. All right. Well, I don't now that okay. I knew I'd get this. What was that? What's up? All money. Oh. All the different sounds have different kinds of. I'll learn to talk it. through it. Yeah, yeah. Just don't just fight through it. Uh, but but it's still it's nice to hear that. We need more. LG, dings. I thought we were getting a shot. Oh, yeah. Uh, the go fuck? Pull right. Go bring it in here. here I we'll, need a shot. We'll we, need to take, we need to take a cheers with Thunderdome. I'm going to pull my penis out while you're gone. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> and, dude, speaking of, <laughs> you let your lady, what the hell are you taking pictures in your chonas with your chest hair out? And then it made it to Twitter sphere. Uh, Did you see that It was that a cold day. She took a picture of me almost butt-ass naked at my office the other day. You see that one? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. When you're in your chonas. Oh, when I was reading on the phone? And you had your, your legs crossed your shit? sabotaged me. But I'm you, like, babe, I this mean, is my she, house. She, you knew she was going to post it, right? I didn't know she was rolling on it. You didn't? Oh, no. we got Texas Rangers blended whiskey? Yeah, yeah. It's just straight out of Texas Cheer Liquor, too. This is from Texas Cheer Liquor? These yeah. are only a dollar at Texas Cheer Liquor, by the way. I know. And at, at, the, at the bar, this is eight bucks. At Texas Cheer Liquor, it's a dollar. This is eight bucks at the bar? Well, a, good shot, booze. a normal oh, shot. A, shot. a normal yeah, yeah. shot is six to eight bucks, right? Is this a whole shot or is this like two shots? It's one shot. See, this, this is, is only one? This is one. This is why I love fucking podcasting. Because I can just fucking take a shot. Well, speaking of which, we don't have an official whiskey right now whiskey. either. Or a vodka. Or a vodka. Or, or a tequila. wine. I'm a tequila, or tequila, tequila. Guy right Me now. too. I like tequila. I'm a tequila guy because my blood sugar can't. Oh, is this okay? Uh, I'll be fine. It's one day. I worked out this morning. It's one day. Yeah. We got to get sexy too. We got to get abs and shit. Dude, we're on TV now. We gotta, abs. We got to oh. get abs and shit. Like, oh, if we're going to be stars, let's fucking be stars. How about just like a facelift? I don't know about getting abs. 
What a, I'm 49 now. It's hard. Well, can't we take the shit, the stomach from our fat from our stomachs and put it in our quads or some shit? Ain't that what uh, women do? This is a uh, right here. You see this titty? It says four. See, I got the walrus see, flap right here. I'm having a hard time with the walrus flap. Hang on. This says four. This says sale. I, if they want to, I'm for whatever they want to buy. You have any tats? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see it on your arm. I got this one. Okay. I got three actually. I got, I got one. one on my leg. I got one. I got my oldest daughter. I need to get my other two daughters. They're always giving me shit. About I need it. to fix one back here. I tried to get rid of it, and I went to this guy and had it removed with a laser, and it didn't work. Oh. So I got to. I got to. I guess I'm about to get something put over it. Cheers. Cheers to you, man. To, Thank you, man. To the to Thank new you beginnings. So much, LG. To new beginnings and new money. By the way, salute. Sal- I'm stuck salute. at iHeart still. What do you mean? If it's not for LG. Oh, fuck we can't yeah. do this. You, you wouldn't have been able to do it. No. Yeah. LG, you, he is the engine. Yeah, we got to keep his He's little ass engine. happy. He's yeah. grumpy, too. Yeah. Because yeah. he can just bail on us. And get, he's turned I mean, turn down jobs for this shit. No, he day. has. Yeah. yeah. Let's okay. not remind ourselves, now, right? He would have been... <laughs> He would have been catching the Holy Ghost on a weekly yeah. basis. I turned down a righteous gemstones type of job. Yeah. <laughs> cheers. Yeah, cheers. Salute. Man. Shit, this is going to be hard. This is early. Mm. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> blended. Whew. Well, there's lunch. That's like my first sip don't of alcohol something? in like two weeks. We got something to do, don't we? What time do we got to oh, be shit. at our what next time meeting? Is- Oh shit! What's our next meeting? Uh, one forty-five. Okay, I guess I'm gonna hang out with you then. Okay, cool. Are you just gonna chill? I mean, what am I gonna do? Go all the way back? Oh to... no, no, yeah, it's, yeah, it's up to an yeah, hour. Yeah, I'm not going all the way back to Patron. Speaking of, my first day, we said we've been we've been talking all week, y'all. Rudy, look, we're gonna get you nine thirty. Nine thirty, man. We gotta I, get. I wasn't you. gonna say anything. No, I don't, man. I'm yeah. You'll find out. <laughs> we're we're getting used to each other. You'll find out. I'm an open book. Dude, I get in the car at 8.45 to mm-hmm. get over here. Okay, yeah. Literally did not mm-hmm. get here until 10.35. Yep. The fucking highway was flooded. You know, San Antonio, we don't drain well. We don't drain well at all. No, they, they God, closed, it's dangerous. They closed 4.10, so mm-hmm. it took me almost two hours to get here today. Isn't Rudy J so saying my, fuck? Isn't it great? Yeah, my, my Sorry, first day. <laughs> first day here, I show up late. After we you talked about this that shit, late. dude, it was ten thirty. We go on air at eleven on our first day. <sighs> well, you have not commuted before. No, I haven't. I didn't. And you I used forgot. to get up at four o'clock in the morning oh, when there's no cars out. If there. my CPA is listening, I'm keeping every mile. This is farther than the station. The old place. Yeah. Well, see, you're gonna have to time the drive better. I guess because today, well, yeah, shitty weather and all that shit going on at the rim is yeah, awful. So I gotta, I gotta figure out my route. I gotta figure out my route. I'll probably be leaving at eight thirty. I think I if you out. and I meet here every day by ten, we should be solid. Let's shoot for ten, but, but maybe you don't leave till like nine fifteen. No, I need to leave at nine. You sure? Today I'm traumatized. Yeah, well, you damn now. near lived a sea world. Yeah, I'm traumatized. I do. Yeah. Shamu lives in my backyard. Yeah, this is gonna get so much easier. We, we've never even actually done a full show together until today. This is already great. Wait till we're like up six six months in. Yeah. How, how's your sleep treating you now? Oh, this has been fantastic. Oh, I, now, yeah. I, I'm not gonna lie, man. I told my, I've told my wife. You gotta keep in mind, it's only been a week. I've told my wife three times. Oh my god, I feel so much better. Like I get up, like Just physically. Like, perfect example. This morning, I got up at seven and felt like I had great sleep because I wanted to go to the gym, went to the gym before I got mm-hmm. here. So that's going to be my routine. I'm going to go to the gym before the show, and then I'll go to the gym again later tonight. But I have the ability to do that. Waking up at 3.30, yeah, and then you nice. get off, <clears throat> and you just got to want to take a nap. And then when you get it from the nap, you're groggy as fuck. You're hungry. Mm-hmm. It's an ass whip. You never catch up to the sleep. You never you catch, never catch up. up. Never catch yeah. up. Not on weekends either. Testosterone all off and shit. Off no, up. man. Yeah, I agree, It's man. tough. Morning radio is tough. Again, it's better than 95% of the job, so I don't want to complain. Well. But getting up at 3.30 every day is brutal. We're going to make you a podcast expert. This job, it's we own it. We can do these whenever we want. True. However we want them. Whenever True. time. We can move the time to 2 o'clock if we want to. Because just like, because people, and look, I'm so thankful we have so many people that watch today. But it'll taper off because yeah, people off. listen to everything when they want to. And, and you, that's the beauty of this show. So it's how do they find this you. later? This is new for me. All right. They go to YouTube and they put Love You Hard TV and they'll find us. No, I mean like later on. Like they want to watch li- watch it or listen to it later on at like 3 o'clock today. Oh, oh but, as soon as we're done, it's automatically up there. Yeah. And then it'll go yeah. to Spotify. But it's only audio, right? 
No, no, no. Spotify everything. will have the video, but oh. all the other stuff like iHeart, Apple, Amazon, Google, that'll be audio only. Okay. Mm-hmm. But Amazon uh, too? But, yeah, Amazon's audio only. You'll see what, like, today's our first show. We'll probably have a lot of viewers, which is great. Yeah, it'll but taper you off. You watch, like, even this show in two weeks, you come back, it's going to be tripled in views because people get to it when they can. Two yeah. weeks. It's a whole new world, man. We're not, you're not beholden to real time anymore. Right. You know, it's pretty awesome. And once you get used it. to it, it's like you don't want to go back. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I mean, everybody's got their strong. price. God that was a strong damn. ass shot. I don't God have any damn. water either. I'm out of water. That shit. shot was strong as fuck. And I got to pee. God damn. Pedro's in here. Greetings, boys. I feel like I know you. As a San Antonio import in 2006, I was searching for a security blanket on the radio and I found the ticket and I found the sports grind. Eventually, Mike came to town. About that. What up? Appreciate you. Vince, I thought Mike lived in Hawaii. No, I've been back for two years, Vince. <laughs> That's okay, but I go a lot. Of course, for obvious reasons. Yeah, I see my babies when I soon, and as much is as I Hawaii can. Is Hawaii really as expensive as people say? Yes. Like gallon of milk, twelve dollars type mm, shit. No, uh, yeah, it's a lot. It's the third most expensive. Honolulu is the most expensive, the third most expensive city in the but country. It's beautiful, right? After is it San beautiful? Diego and New York. Never been, which is unfortunate. Never been to Hawaii. You well, mean, you mean San Francisco, not San Diego? No, San Diego now is uh, number one most expensive city in America. So I've heard, I've just heard, came out. Look I've it up. heard San Diego is expensive. I've I believe heard it's it beautiful, goes, but it goes expensive. San Diego, it goes New York, Honolulu, and then it goes uh, San Francisco. San Francisco has an, has had an exodus of people, and that's a lot, affected. I've heard there's a that's lot of homeless. Well, we need to sell some sponsors because I want to retire in San Diego. I know yeah, you well, do. Shit, I know LG, you do. You better get to saving, dog. Yeah, uh-huh. you better get to say. So I just uh, need a little beach bungalow. Yeah, and what's cool about True that. and here's the other thing: like a lot of things, like this show, we talk about. We don't nothing, nothing. Everything's for the record. If there's something you don't want to be on the air, you need to tell me. Like, hey, Mike. Mike, I've known you long enough to know. Always preface. I've known you long enough to know. Yeah, I need to tell you Every if time. I don't want it on air because you will bring that shit to air. air. I it's know. All content. I know. Yeah, everything's content unless you say so. What I'm getting at is, you know. I, and I'll just be honest. Look, this show is going to survive. Oh, I'm just going to read some of them. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'll keep touching it. Sorry. Um, well, you didn't expect to get this much no, money the first day. No, that's okay. We are going to survive because of the people. And that's why I got a little sentimental earlier. The viewers are literally, and the and, and our sponsors are who keeps us going. Hell yeah, Absolutely. It's not some corporate radio station that's paying us a salary and whatever listeners we get is what we get. We don't get people watching this. We don't get financial support. It's not like a televangelist. We got to get you support. Right. If you want the good news every day. I can do that if you want you gotta to. You got to pay. I can do that if you want to. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm, you I want need me you to. to. I need you to. Tithe. Yeah, to yeah the, if you need to tithe. Tithe to in the building. If you want this shit to keep going, <laughs> pay me. Goddamn. Yeah, and these people, Jake Hood. What Jake Hood say? Let's go. Puro Pinche Legends here to support $6. Thank you. Oh, you signed up for a membership. How many Thank memberships you, did we get today, LG? That, uh, and, and that's the easiest part. Like, like three. Like, I mean, what the hell? By $6, the way, people. if you're interested in partnering with us as a sponsor, reach out to any of us. Any we of will, us. Well, I've got two client meetings coming up here today. Um, You'll be solo on those. I got them. Today, yeah, yeah, that's okay. Uh, yeah. No, no, I understand. Gotcha. Look, 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 we're all in this together, you know. Yeah. And they'll be look. We're, Texas cheers because of you, Holmes. Well, you had them. Well, but you, but you've enhanced it. Yeah. They, they feel better about you coming over. So that's why you know they've doubled their what they were AD's doing before. Because darker than me. That's okay. He's we're here the for the, we support the brothers. Um, you better. What the hell? So my point is this. What's up? I'm going to go out and hustle business. And Same. I've got Me two too. meetings today. And I pre- and I want to say, I don't want to put these guys on the spot. They're no, good don't. dudes. If they decide to do business, great. If they don't, that doesn't matter. It's all, no. it's all, it's just business. We will, we need sponsorships to keep this show afloat. However, it's possible that we get so many paid memberships. Now, y'all are, y'all are watching us have a business meeting. <laughs> it is possible. <laughs> yeah. As long as you and I do a great show every day, which, by the way, we're going to five days a week. LG got mad, and he threw. He, you should have seen him throw a glass the other day when I told him we need to go to five days. Oh, he wanted to keep Friday off? Absolutely. We're going to five days a week. Are you sure? we? Before you put that out in the universe, are you sure? Yes, dude. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I was liking the 
the British idea of oh, only four a days? Four, four, four week work Tell you what. Four day work let's week. Let's get to. No, I'm kidding. Let's do five days. I'm get, kidding. No, no. When we get to a certain milestone, but we're far away from that. If we get 5,000 paid members, which that doesn't sound like that much for you and me. We no. can do that. Yeah. Then I won't, we won't need sponsors. We'll take them. They want to work with us. But it's like we're all in this together, man. I know I've had a lot of whiskey now. I've had whiskey. That one shot. I'm, get, oh, yeah, I'm a lover when I get when I when, I, when, that, when that booze hits. I turn Same. into I'm going to kiss everybody. I didn't expect hear this, that money come uh, in. Yeah, I didn't expect this shot to hit me the well, way it did. Uh, let's let you have the. Well, we'll drink Good a lot night. of water before yeah, you I go. Yeah, I need some water. We got we, we're interviewing with a paper. You got to get your shit together. You got time for that? Don't yes. you? Okay, yeah. The Express News is going to interview us here in a minute. This is great. I appreciate that. My point is, this is a grassroots show. We're not beholden to some corporation. No, hell no. But, I'm but done what, with that shit. But what keeps us going is the people. Sponsorships are great, and right. we need them right now to get us to where we need to go. But in the future, if we get up to 5,000 paid members, we won't need any sponsors unless you just love money that much. I don't. I just need enough to get by. We get 5,000 sponsors a, a month. I, like I mean, money. not sponsors, I like, but paid I like, members. I like money. Yeah, paid memberships. I like money. We really think this show can do something. I it would better. Be, it has to. It will. This is my last big swing, man. Oh, same. Same. This has to work. Well, yeah, same. It just has to. It's going. <laughs> I don't. It's fail. It, like it, the dick. Yeah, we shooting our shot. We we're, we're walking in the yeah, gym we, shooting our shot. Right. I know. It's, it, we, it's right. But the, I don't believe in failure, by the way. No, I don't. Uh, no, change, to me, this, if you if try and work out, try and fail. no, trying is success. Yes, I'm this a goes trier. back to Black Mamba stuff. I'm a trier. I've tried everything. I've been yeah. a rapper. I've been a restaurant owner. I've been a food truck owner. Yeah, I've been everything. I'm I saw about, that in you. I, I shoot my shot. That's one thing about me. I'm gonna try. I'm and not going out. Required. I'm not going out like no punk. That's what's required to make these shows work. Absolutely. If you're going to do this kind of broadcast, you have to, you have to have a set of balls. And you have to you have to you have to fulfill what you promise. Yeah, you have to do the grunt work. Yeah, period. I got elephant nuts. In you know, big, the, the, big, 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 big boy nuts. That I know you do. It's why I want you to nuts. come over. Yeah. Since June, when I went podcast exclusive, and it's not where it needs to be, which is why I'm think I'm so happy now. And I'm like borderline in tears right now because I just really think our thing's going to do well, and right. I just love it so much. Um. This this was a job for tough people. Oh hell yeah, you got this was a yeah. job for hustlers and ballers and sellers, and you have maybe maybe we're half crazy. Maybe that's required. No, we are. You maybe we be. are. You gotta be. But you know the great Will Rogers always said in the 1930s. You see, that's how sentimental I am today. I'm quoting Will Rogers from the 1930s. The sweetest fruit is on the thinnest branch. Amen. If you want the sweet fruit, you're going to have to go out on the thin branch to get it. And that's that's un, that's Amen. that's tough. I agree. And I know that you're a guy that's willing to go out there and dangle from the sweet fruit branch. It may snap. You know, we make this thing make fucking fail. <laughs> but it, don't say that. I am going don't even put to put that in the universe. No, no, I am going to give you everything I have, man. Every fucking I sound like Dan Campbell. All I think about you guys. Yeah, same. I, you guys are all I think about. Just trust me, man. I got a plan. I love Dan Campbell. Just go with me on this. I love Dan Campbell. I love Dan Campbell. Should Thank have been you, a man. Cowboys coach. Should have been a Cowboys coach. All right. And that shot hit quick, didn't it? <laughs> no, I'm fine. I'm just, <laughs> I'm, 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 just play, I'm just playing it up for the YouTube. I'm fine. Great to it finally see eight. all together. Two radio pros. Yeah, we're podcasters. We're influencers. We're influencers. How about that? We're influencers. It's I, funny. That's weird saying that's so that. That's so weird. It's weird saying my that kids, shit. My kids, my, all four of my kids yeah. sit around all day on their fucking phone watching influ. Oh, unlock this for me again. I'm sorry. <laughs> All four of my LG kids sit around watching people on TikTok and YouTube and shit. And like, I'm Mr. I'm so terrible tech technically, you know, right. poor LG. He, I get, he gets mad at me at least once a week over my lack of knowledge technologically. How ironic is it that I'm an influencer? No, you're an influencer. We are, we are influencers <laughs> for sure. We are definitely influencers. Shout out to the Donaldson family. The Donaldsons are dialed in. Who's the Don? Who? Who? who wait. What? What? What's SA's the name? new dynamic duo. Love y'all. Sean Don. The Donaldsons oh, are dialed in. That's my brother-in-law. Oh no shit! What's up? He's up in Dallas. No. Oh. Rich dude. 
Got a guy shouting out from shout out from uh, Wichita Falls. Was that Kansas? No, Wichita Falls is a Texas border. Oh shit! Oh, by the way, I, I failed geography. That's okay. I am good at it. One of my weird talents that I have that's never been able to monetize for me. I have a lot of I have a lot of unmonetized talents mm-hmm. because they're just talents that don't they don't bring money in. Yeah, I know my Texas geography as well as anybody I've ever known. I don't know. Geography. It's crazy. I, I can know. play any Texas geography poker. I would kick everybody's ass. It's weird. I can tell you about the. I can tell you about where's Longview. Longview is East Texas. It's about 15 miles northeast of Tyler, right off of I-20, the home of the Lobos and Matthew McConaughey went to high school there. See, stupid shit like Palestine. that. Palestine. Palestine, the home of the great Adrian Peterson, the Oklahoma Lightning, who went to Oklahoma because he, he, he passed on Texas because he wanted won. to win championships. Yeah, AD San all day was his nickname. San Angelo, the home of San, Gen- mm-hmm. San Angelo State, the Rams. Got a real good taco shop there. We don't have Ain't here. no damn good tacos in San Francisco. Yes, Angelo. they do. Cut the shit. No, it's great. It's awesome. They got Mexicans everywhere. We're everywhere. They got good tacos <laughs> in Seattle. You just got to know where to find them. They just don't have as many options. But you can find them. I got this weird-ass Texas geography shit. Paris. Paris, Texas. Ah, yes, East Texas. The home of the great Joe Morgan. Longtime St. Louis Cardinal. Did the chicken. Joe Morgan, Toronto Blue Jay Joe Morgan? Uh, no, 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 oh. no, 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 okay. Saint, no, no, St. Louis Cardinals. Oh. No, no, Reds, big red machine, okay. 1970, three straight World Series, 72, 73, and 74, big red machine. Okay. Yeah, man. Pick another city. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out of Texas. It's stupid. City. I'm telling you, it's, it's stupid. Like it's that. dumb. It's weird. Yeah. You and I need to do some field trips, too, by the way. We got to do a lot of work to do. We have so much we to gotta do. We got to be outside, man. Well, we're going to be outside. We got to be outside. No, I'm talking about we just got to move around. We got to do. We got work to do. We do. We got to be the show for the people. Right. We know what this show can be. It's just a matter of us now putting in the work to get it there. And right. we will. We will. Kevin's in here. The sports star was all about dick jokes, especially in the afternoon. Jesus. Did y'all make dick jokes on the sports star every day? Yeah, Jason and Joe do. They, 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 they're, Yeah. Some of that. Harry Austin. Yeah, don't see Taylor with the star. A much different vibe. Yeah, it's a different culture over there. It's but, a little bit buttoned up over but if there. They were gonna bring you in, it's they kind would of let you. They would let you be you. I know, but they but that but they didn't bring me in. Right. I thought they were. Didn't happen. It's okay. No, it's all good. Wait a minute. Why am I getting all these messages? Corpus is in the house. What up, Corpus? I'm getting all your text messages now. Oh damn! Get out well, the man's text messages. Else. Uh oh! Yeah, get out of the man's yeah, text go back, message. Go to the. Uh, you got chicks sending them nudes and shit. Go to the go to the chats. These are messages to you on Byron Cup. Oh, okay. Let me have them all. <laughs> like, oh, okay, cool. Look, see, this is why LG gets frustrated. You don't even know when it's the messages from the coffee people. Love the show. Rudy's my favorite. Good luck, guys. I've always enjoyed listening to You're both. My you. Thank you, Jeff. You're my favorite. You're my favorite. Isaac Mitchell with a thirty dollar uh, what? entry. What's up, Rudy? Teaming up with Mike. Love it. Think thirty Damn. bucks. Shout out, Isaac. Raul, get us six dollars. Oh, six dollars. That's going to Jesus. What up, Raul? Oh, I think I think that's my neighbor. <laughs> Shout out to neighbor Raul. Fuck the Cowboys is in here with three dollars. Good Lord, that's his name. Yeah, fuck the Cowboys. Three bucks. YouTube allows that. Yeah. You can use the F word fuck, on fuck, YouTube. Fuck, no, fuck, I'm fuck, talking fuck. about in your in text. Oh yeah, sure. Let's buy me a coffee. Yes, yeah, buy yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, that's different. Someone, that's their name, donated fifteen dollars and then followed it with a nine dollar donation. Shout out to AJ Flores, fifteen bucks. Roberto Godina, thirty dollars. See, we making money today, is this baby. The bi- is this the highest earning? Buy me a coffee. It's on. Day? It's on pace, probably, isn't it? Gotta be. Uh, Got a couple of cowboy. Y'all did one a cowboy post game that was pretty nice. Some good cowboy. It's like Cowboys Eagles was the most. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Think, yeah. We had a lot. I think we. I think we beat that today. There's a, see. There's a number. Don't say it. There's oh, I'm gonna say it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's so, that's number from the whole month. Oh. Okay. Oh, well, that's shit. pretty good. That's, that's okay. Right. But you're part of that. Hey, man. Dude, cheers. Man. Golly. Cheers yeah, to Midtown Texas. Thank you, man. Uh, everyone's everyone's like happy about this. I wanted more hate. I thought we'd get Why some would you more, want more hate. Because it, it hate's important. It is indifference. You need a is, good amount of indifference is deadly. If people didn't care, Correct. they weren't like. I need you to either love us or hate us. As long as they're talking about me, I'm gonna stick I'm, around. Yeah, I'm fine. It's when they stop talking about see, me, I gotta go back see, to Arkansas. You sound like Jerry Jones. I'm about to go back. You I sound eat. like Jerry. That's right. You know, as long as, the, I, but I need a healthy amount of hate. You know, I used to tell my mom. I probably haven't told you this story. You know, he's heard it 25 times. 
So when I first got the job with the ticket, Dallas guy, which is not true, but you know, whatever. Mavs fan. Chris Duell called me a carpetbagger on your ex radio station all the time. Duell, oh, while wow, he's yeah, on yeah. air? Or yeah. when he was oh, over on the tw- air? He was no. at 12.50. Duell and Minix called me a carpetbagger all the fucking time. What is a carpetbagger? What is that? Somebody from the north who comes down, exploits you, takes money, and then bails. Oh, Duel said that I would never last. I was only here to enhance my career, which is partly true. That is true. We all When I took this careers. job, I thought, I'm going to go down to San Antonio, prove that I can handle a drive time show. And get hired back in Dallas of course. or go to Chicago or New York or right. L.A. Because I had big market in my head in those days. And then I realized you don't need that to be successful. So I don't Dormant care about life. that anymore. Right. We can become millionaires right here in this room, Rudy, if we do it right. Agreed. And we get lucky. And we put the hard work in. Right. We can. Um, and I learned that, oh, as, and especially as digital took over. In old school radio, became a dinosaur, you know. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that goes back to that. Uh, I was going to make a point, but I forgot. No, you were that saying. That whiskey hit hard. <laughs> no, no, no. You were saying you need hate. And you were telling your mom. You are telling your mom. See, I'm I listening. I told my mom. So she, I showed her a bunch of emails that I got before one time. Oh, my God. I can't believe they're talking about my baby. Like, you should just quit that job and come home. I'm like, no, this is good. This is good. Right. For 20 years, do you know who the most despised, criticized, fucking enemy number one host was in all of radio in this country for 20 years had to be Howard Stern it was Rush Limbaugh oh yeah Rush Rush, Rush, Rush Limbaugh Lepin. was the hate, most hated most the tweeted the richest motherfucker too but at this, you also know who the most beloved talk show host was in all of America at that same time Rush Limbaugh Rush Limbaugh for 25 years Rush was both the most beloved and listened to and highest paid and despised host in America that's, I wouldn't that's mind the being format that. I wouldn't mind being that. Not for the reasons, but not for the shit that Russ was saying. Yeah, you, know, you can't be fake about it. It's got to be genuine. Right. So this is going back to two hours ago when you were like, you know, you said I, I was kind of a jerk. You thought people thought, God, this guy's an asshole. You know, you got to stir it. You got to be able to. You got to stir the stick. You know, my mentor was Randy Galloway. Nice. We can talk about Randy. Shout out to Randy. You know, Randy. Okay, good. Yeah. Tyler, you got to start it out. If you ain't in the if you ain't in the principal's office at least once a month, I'm about the program director. If you ain't in the principal's office at least once a month, then you ain't doing the fucking job. Mm. You got to start the stick, you know. But but you got to do you got to you got to start the stick when you really mean it. They're not dumb. Yeah, don't be fake. Your listeners are not dumb. They know when you're bullshit. Some of them are. We're doing a bit. We're doing a bit. But they know the difference. Right. And so I found out that you know going back, what you people you, you know, you're convinced I hate UT football because the college people are the easiest to fuck with. The sharp stick. Yeah. You sharp stick them. Because it's all a regional them long thing. Ones get that, mad. Yeah, it's different. Oh, they get that, mad. Yeah, it's different. Then you turn it around on the Aggies. Oh. And the Aggies. Yeah, they yeah. just Don't get me started yeah. on the Aggies. Will the Longhorns and the Aggies combine for 10 wins next season in the SEC? Yes. Are you sure about yes. that? Yes, Texas okay. is the real deal. I hope they are. See, I do hope they Texas are. Texas is the real deal. They I had to prove it. I made them prove it to me. I wasn't going to just hand it to them. Right. I wasn't going to just hand it to them, but they right. proved it. They proved a lot to me this and season. And I've always been anti-SEC. Fuck Big John Southern Plantation. We don't need him. We got, we SEC got our own SEC is a state. bunch of badass we motherfuckers, got our own dog. I understand. And I've never said they weren't the best. I just didn't like right. them. I know I got tired of them. I got, I got, I got yeah. fatigued. We're done. That's I got it. I got SEC fatigue. I give a fuck about Alabama, Georgia, Mississippi. I don't care about that. Vanderbilt. But now I have to. You got no choice. Things have changed. Uh oh. Is that our is that our exit? We out of yeah, here. Yeah, we got we, like we have an interview room. to do. Shit. Yeah, we got to do Express News. I got to sober up. I got to pee. Bad. I know that. I got to get used to this. I'm all in on the SEC. I have to be. You got both, no choice, brother. The two schools of note now are both members. Thank of you, baby. Big Southern John Plantation Country. So happy to have Rudy J in the building. And no more shots this week. I don't drink during the week. (laughs) This is a one-time thing. All right, that's it. Let's get some water and we're gonna have lunch. Where are we going? No, don't say it. Uh, Don't say it. Don't say it. They ain't paying us. They ain't paying us. Fuck. No, 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 no. No, they're gonna give us some love though. Oh, you mean oh, you mean the restaurant? Right. Oh no, we'll pay them. It's a local place. I wouldn't want them to pay. I pay when it's local. If it's a chain, fuck them. They want to pay for money they can. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. No, I believe in that. I support local business. We're a local business. I want this local business to get supported. I damn sure I'm going to host local businesses myself. Thank you, Frankie, the dream team of San Antonio. Robbie Mines is a member. We're getting members, baby.
Better be signing up if y'all want this shit. So happy for you. You've come a long way from our time at Sam's Club. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah. That's a guy I've known for 20 some odd years. We're done. Thank y'all very much. Golly, look at fucking Rudy J in here, man. Peace. Love y'all. This is only the beginning, y'all. I won't get drunk every day, but today was a special day. We're celebrating. All right. All right. Tomorrow, it's Tuesday, 11 (laughs) o'clock to whenever. We're always going to go at least two hours, by the way, if not longer. Yeah, every day. Just making sure. Unless you got things to do. I ain't got shit to do. Okay, well, 11 to 1 at least, if not longer. Love y'all hard. Thank you, everybody. It's only the beginning. This is it. Let's fucking Please. kill this shit. Let's go. Hey, hey. This program was made possible by contributions from viewers and listeners like you. Thank you.